Hey guys, Fear back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 14th of March. Uh, it is a Monday. Mount Farm Monday. Uh, we did a poll at the very start of the stream to see if people wanted to see like the regular Mount Farming or jumping into Xerath Mortis. Keep watching to see where we got, what we got, all the fun stuff. Um, if you would like to catch me live, twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you add slash schedule onto the end of that, you'll see when I'm going live in your time zone. You can catch me also on all my social media. It's down in the description box. You've got Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook is the last one. Brilliant. Uh, I am trying to grow my Instagram following at the moment, so if you could throw me a follow there, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, I'm looking at hopefully being able to move into full-time content creation, uh, but to do that, you need to be able to pay the bills. Brand deals. Woo! Take care of yourselves, enjoy the VOD, and I will see you, hopefully, next time I'm live. Hello. Welcome back, everyone. Looking. Which that one? Hello. Not bad. Hello, indeed. Let us start a battle. Man, we're going to start a poll. Uh, so, if you are in Discord, you will have seen that I'm giving you guys the option of what we do today in terms of Mount Farm Monday. Uh, either I have the list of stuff that I usually go through for Mount Farming Day. Uh, so, like, going through rep grinds and, uh, eventually ending up at islands, island expeditions, or we can farm in ZM. Uh, so farming in Xerath Mortis includes oh, both going so and grabbing much. the, uh, Metafund! Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming resub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Um... Yes, so it include uh, either like you know going and actually getting the recipes, but then also farming up the materials and stuff like that. And I I'm pretty sure that that kind of stuff can be done in a raid group, uh, which meant means that if anyone Horde side and America and you know, North America Oceanic uh, wants to join in for that, you will be able to. Um, but that is of course up to you lot. So let's kick off a poll. New poll. What should we do today? Regular. Oh, that's not how you spell regular. Mount farm stuff. Xerath Mortis. Mount farm. Nope, just mount farm. Can't fit stuff. Uh, and we're going to make that a five minute poll while I read through chat. So there you go, cast your vote. Cast your vote. Well done to Zam on first, Rel on second, K with third. Hello, hello. Hello, Diz, welcome on in. You're still at work and being all sneaky with chat. I hope work is treating you well today, K. Captions are on, thank you very much, but. Uh, let's see if you can play today's a public holiday. Ah, oh, fantastic, Rel. Hope you've had a wonderful day off. Hello, V. This is Kay's boss. I'd like to report one of your employees is currently hanging on for your stream. Instead of working, you should definitely give them a raise. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I even know if it's not earlier today. I'm used to the good old 8.30 to 5 shift. Yeah. Yeah. See my natural team. I'd like to see him say something. Yeah. Work done. That's the important thing. Absolutely. As long as you get it done and no one's like waiting on you for stuff or whatever, like, yeah, for sure. Like, as long as your job's done, I don't see why anyone would complain. Hello, Venom. Welcome in. Hello, Dan. Hello, Kay. What colours are your eyes today? Good question. Oh, I need to turn all of these back on. Oops. So, today, they're green. Uh, so I've got, it's a little bit patchy in some places. I don't know if that's user error or um, like I've never, this is a shadow I've never used before, the dark green one. So I think I need to have a little bit more of a, a play around with it. But um, there's so a really super dark green around the outside and then like underneath my eyes as well. There is that little patch of, uh, of brown just inside there. And then the, the bright green on my lids. And that is shimmery, but you can't, I don't think you can really see it too well on camera. It's not like 
metallic or super sparkly or anything like that. But yeah, it is a it is a shimmery shade. And that's what you got to work with. I own this mount. It is a ground mount. I believe. Yes, it is a ground mount. So have fun, guess away. Um hey, hello Lander, hello Kaz. Odds on a 50-50 poll? Likely. Always super likely. Should be a bit better than last week. So that's good. Good. I'm so pleased to hear that. Great idea of doing nothing first time I've been able to log into WoW in months. Got my first look at ZM and it's pretty. It's so gorgeous, isn't it, Rel? Ah, that was not to Dory since I'm leaving home. Not a worry. Not a worry. Bright green diehorn. Nope. Looks like I'll be wrong. Nothing new there. Oh, really? Let's have a look. Oh! No, it could look. There are still like a couple minutes left on the poll. I like the color combo. Me too. Me too. I, I really like these colors together. Um, I'm quite happy with them. So, uh, yes. Swift blue hawk strider. No. Is a is a deep green, a bright green, like a bright yellowy sort of green, and then and then brown. Just a bit of brown, a little bit of brown. Hmm. There is still just a little bit to go voting in the poll. Make sure you do so. If you are here, jump up to the top of the chat. There should be a poll there. I think it's a bit tricky to see on mobile, uh, but if you are on desktop, you should be able to see it. Um. But yeah, we're voting on what kind of mount farming we're going to do today. Either ZM or our regular stock standard stuff that I've been working on for literally months. Oh, dearie me. Green turtle mount thing. Unfortunately, there are a few green turtles. I'm going to need you to be a little bit more specific, Kaz. Apologies. Swift green hawkstrider. No. Infernal direwolf. He is. It is indeed the Infernal Direwolf. Uh, the mount was a reward, or still is a reward, for the glory of the Hellfire Raider achievement in Warlords of Draenor. It's a, it's a dark green wolf with like fell green bits here and there, and a brown saddle. It's just typing that. Ah, oh, Angelic, you just missed out. That's okay. All visible mobile here. Oh, fantastic! That's awesome. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit tricksy. I've had a lot of people say that they're having trouble finding it on mobile, uh, but it might be user error. I don't know. They might have closed it off and, and not realized what it was or something like that. Who knows? Uh, a number from URL. Between 1 and 100, please. We are doing the Xerath Mortis Mount Farm, which does not surprise me in the slightest. 42. 42. You have won. Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War 3. There you are. Just double check that that's the same profile picture. It is phenomenal. There you go. Congratulations. Hope the, the game brings some enjoyment. Well done. You're very welcome. Blood for the blood god. Decide to level all my covenants to 80 on the one tune. I can unlock all the available mounts on the one tune. Yeah, so much easier. It used to be with the 40 renown boost. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely it is. Hello, Loza. How are you? Welcome back. Alrighty. ZM. ZM. Also, Data for Azeroth has now updated. I, it's actually showing the... um. Uh, that I have 645 rather than the 643. So the two the two mounts that I've gotten in Xerath Mortis um, outside of the uh, patient Buffinid have been crossed off now. So yeah, it is it is correctly tracking that now, which is good. I don't know how many we'll unlock today, but hey, we can get all the patterns at the very least. Well, maybe not all of them. I know that there's one or two that drop from great bosses, right? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm a bit tired. Uh, a bit run down, but you know, it's fairly, fairly normal by this stage. Fairly normal for fear. Um, okay, let's go to Body Balls. 
Pretty jellyfish, please. I think that was what I had last time, so it's already done. Brilliant. Don't even have to do anything. Look at me go. God, how would I even put that on my face? I reckon I have to find a way. It's upon adding characters now. It is amazing. My god, that whole, like, goodness gracious. So, with that, Jack, does, like, that's not going to auto-update all the... Two. Like, so, if I stick in Fia's data, it can't access, the, like, Phelan's data and stuff like that, can it? So, it's, it's not, like... How does that work? <laughs> Okay, so there's one that drops from the weekly, and there's one that drops from Paragon Cache from Enlightened Broker Supplies. That'll be Trixie. Um, there's one under there that I can't see because of the quest, so I think I'll go pick up those dailies. I also have to check my, um, I don't think I've touched the what's it for a little bit. So I'll pick that up. Uh, I'll, I'll check that too and start a new round of uh, research. Swill. If I want to swap a character out or add another character in, it'll eventually just auto update. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's awesome. I'm so excited. It just means that, like, when it when I says, you know, jump onto Repressily and go do this dungeon, I can jump onto Repressily, update the data, and just double check that it still says Repressily. Do you know what I mean? But it's so, it like, it is going to be so much quicker. You have made my life so much easier. So much easier. Um, hope you're well. Like your eye look. Thank you, anxious. I like it too. Interrupting my I like it too. Um, it's uh, what have I used? I've used the the brown is from the Makeup Revolution Pride palette. The like acid green is from the Just My Luck ColourPop palette, the little nine pan green one. Uh, and then the dark green is moss from uh, KVD Metal Matte. Um, the shade that was kind of messed up. <laughs> but yeah, I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. Leave me to my uh, when is flying available on ZM? Is it this week? I believe so, yes. I believe it's this, like, after this reset. Um, it is a whole achievement, though. Um, not just the, the storyline, like it was last time. I thought it was just like last time, but not quite, apparently. All right, so that's still researching <laughs> that's gonna be funny uh but I've, I've unlocked all of these which is good what am i rend as if all supportive combat focus These rolls I think, so he's either DPS or is a healer, right? That's the idea here. He can't tank for you. He's doing near old Pathfinder, literally like an arrow collecting thing. He's after command. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be too super easy. Where do you get your pallets from? Uh, all over the shop, like all over the place. Um, I've gotten a lot of them from mystery boxes and stuff like that. Um, I've gotten a few, a few from Mecca, not too many. Like I haven't actually purchased that many outright from Mecca. Uh, I've gotten a couple from YesStyle in like advent calendars and, and stuff like that. Um, uh, and I've inherited a few from a few different friends and stuff who are like, you know, doing a declutter and I'm like, oh, I'll take that. Uh, I've also like, uh, I bought, I've got a Chi Chi rainbow palette. Um, their pride palette that I bought because I needed more color and then uh, I bought a vault of six 
nine pan palettes from Colourpop. A red, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple, just to kind of cover that kind of thing as well. Um, and then I've gotten a few, like, little... A few little like quads and stuff and and a couple of larger ones from a couple color pop mystery boxes as well i i'm a sucker for mystery boxes like i i bloody well kid you not i <laughs> i they're my kryptonite subscription boxes uh mystery boxes and advent calendars total kryptonite for me i i can't i can't help myself so i've unfollowed a bunch of things on instagram so that i'm not tempted <laughs> Because I've got enough stuff. I have so much makeup. I have enough stuff. But do I? I don't You yeah, Look, it's a, yep. Yeah. Oh, and I dropped, yeah, I think green eyeshadow is a sooner. I agree. I agree. I really like the way they look on me as well. Um, I'm just swiping on this emote. Isn't it adorable, V? I love it. We love the spreadsheets. We had to, we had to tribute. We had to, yep. Yeah, they're like, exactly. They're like presents that you pay for. But you end up getting stuff for like less than half price. Yes, okay, granted, you don't get to choose the stuff. But because I'm the kind of person who will use literally anything, like if they send me a blue lipstick, I will find a way to use it. Um, and a lot of the time, mystery boxes, like mystery boxes used to be a way for companies to like clear out old stock that they're trying to get rid of that wasn't selling and stuff. But I've found that more recently, mystery boxes have had like mostly neutral stuff because people kept complaining. Um, that, you know, oh, I don't use any of these kind of things. So they do, they do clear out old stock. Absolutely. But, um, they also tend to include, uh, a lot of like neutral stuff so that people can't really complain about the odd colorful thing that they get. Uh, yeah, no, I, I like them a lot. Um, they're fantastic. Shitboxes really give that serotonin boost. They do. And the unbox, like the, the rush of unboxing. Yep. So good. Save 250 ciphers. Okay. Rumi gets Bella Boxes, uses them for gifts throughout the year. I cancelled my Bella Box subscription at the start of this year. I had it for, I think it was like four years. No, not quite four. Maybe, yeah, somewhere around three or four years that I had my Bella Box subscription. I've got like all the empty boxes I've got. I've got them all up in the top of my wardrobe because they're really bloody good for, to use, for using as like drawer compartmentalizers and drawer separators. So good. Um, so I have all the empty boxes still and I had the, I, I got the subscription for years and I also had the Welcome to Wellness, which was their like health based one that was uh, seasonally, like quarterly. Um, but that one I just, I found I was getting too much stuff that was just like supplements and things. And I'm like, I don't really use supplements. Like you send me healthy snacks and send me, you know, eco-friendly beauty and, and all that kind of stuff. But like just too many pills. They were sending me too many pills. Um, so I, I cancelled that after, I think it was two years I had that for. Um, and then, yeah, I uh, I ended up cancelling my Bella Box at the start of this year in an attempt to save some money. Because um, it is 20 bucks a month. Uh, and because I'd paid it a year in advance. Like I had a, a, a one year subscription when they did their new year thing at the end of 2020. Yeah, 2020. So I had it for all of 2021 because I'd prepaid all of it, but then I didn't renew it. Um, because yeah, I just, I was getting like, I was getting a lot of double ups, honestly, after that long. So many times I've received a little thing of CeraVe hydrating cleanser um, and I'd, I'd started seeing a lot of double ups and the, the, the funky things like a new lipstick brand and stuff like that, um, they were few and far between. It was like maybe twice or three times a year that I'd get something that I actually got excited about. And I have like 150 bloody lipsticks. I don't need it. I don't need any more makeup. I don't need any more makeup. And I've got quite a stash of skincare that I'm trying to burn through as well. Cause you know, I would like to move to Melbourne at some point. And the more stuff I have, the more stuff I have to move. Uh, so I, I got rid of that, but it, it is a great little thing. Um, it is an awesome subscription, but yeah, I just, oh, I couldn't justify it anymore. Um, is new emote indeed. Yeah, we've got a bunch of new emotes, six new ones that I uploaded on Saturday. Okay, why gives you a permanent cipher? Oh, cool. Uh, and I get your style advent calendar. It's just so expensive. It is, but it's so worth the money. Like if you're, if you're going to use like any more than 60% of what's in there, literally, 
because it like when you actually add up how much everything is, you're getting everything at about a 60% discount. So if you're using at least half of what's in there or 60% of what's in there, um, the rest of the stuff that doesn't suit your skin type or whatever, you can, you know, set aside for presents and stuff. Obviously, if you have an, enough people in your life who are um, who are interested in that kind of stuff, you can set things aside for little gifts and, and things like that. Um, or, I mean, even do, like, you know, trade in Facebook groups or, or resell it off or, or whatever. Um, it's uh, it's well worth it. But, yeah, you do need to hit that, like, 60% mark kind of thing to, uh, to make it worth it. Surface. Ah, cool, cool. Hello, Apathy. Good afternoon, dupe. All right. Um, so I want to hold on to 250. So I can spend 244. Hmm. I reckon I... Mm. What am I gonna, am I gonna get it to heal? It can't tank, so I might as well get the help DPSing it down. Cause I can kinda, yeah. It's the first probably, yes, I know, right? Yes, for 20 plus sapphire item, okay. Noted. So that's 110 I just spent. So I've got 134 left that I can spend. Let's do that. Deets. Spreadsheets, not deets. Yep. I'm alive. I've slept all day. Literally. I, I got up, went in, walked home, as I said I was going to, which is really good. I got my like 5,500 steps or something done. Um, 6,000 steps, according to the Fitbit. And, uh, and then I kind of curled up in bed and ended up passing out and woke up when my get ready for stream alarm went off. So <laughs> apparently I needed it. There you go. All right. So found on top of the entrance to the Genesis Alpha. Stay a while and listen. And lowest branch of the floating tree underneath some foliage. Let's go. And oh, there's these two as well. Chance to drop from the cluck cluck boom daily quest. Research all ciphers at the cipher console to earn ciphers. Okay, so I can't. I'm not going to get that one. <laughs> I can't farm that one up today, and I can't. That one I can't do either. But I can definitely go and uh, check this one out. It's COVID. I get a week off. Oh jeez. Stay safe. Cheers to being alive. Agreed. Agreed. Very much looking forward to bubble tea tonight. Um, I grabbed a bottle of Parade to drink on my way home, and I grabbed two hand rolls of sushi. I got a fresh salmon and avocado, and I got a smoked salmon, avocado, and cream cheese. Mm. Del so many calories. Like, my god, when I, I got home and I'm like, okay, let's add them to my tracking thing. And I was like, holy cow. Like, I'm like, what is 1,100? kilojoules in kilocalories and I was like oh, holy shit I ate a lot of food I had a lot of energy good lord uh but yeah no it's fine all right found on top of the entrance but that's all right I slept for the rest of the day so I didn't eat lunch or anything so it's fine it works out right go and Pet one. I might as well get the pet ones while I'm here. There's no point just targeting the, uh, the, what's it? Um, inside there, actually. Uh. False. Uh, the answer for Jack is false. Uh, person who has it or in their room, it's right outside it. So minimal contact. Okay. Hello, Lucky. It is going well. I hope you can say the same. I'm guessing it's up on this one. Lowest branch of the floating tree underneath some foliage. Yep. All right. So. Is it 
Is that actually gonna let me on there or? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Good. Or is it this one? Is this is lowest of the floating tree. But these are maybe these are not trees. Maybe they don't count as trees. So two switch which will place up their seven and arrow. Yum. Sick last week, chest infection my hair broken. Hey, for four days. Is Maxi Bonds and Tim Tams? Oh no. Oh no. It was nice. It was very tasty sushi. Search the quest with Jiro if you haven't yet. There's a side quest there. Oh, okay. Quest with Jiro. Um, uh, thankfully still at home, so yeah, can I ask about the appointment this morning? Would you rather not talk about it? Happy to just be here and chill. Um, uh, it's done. I came home. I slept all day. That's yep. Those are the branches. I don't. I don't know. Like I can't. Like they've got chains hanging down from them, so I'm not sure if they count as branches. But like. This is where, so maybe it's in this one, because this is where the, oh, look. Oh my God, I'm a numpty. Good. Found it. <laughs> At least I'm helping you guys find them later, right? If you don't have them already. Uh, quest. Inside the gravid repose. Where is that? Oh, a Fugio cache. I'll go do that one while we're there. And then I might around I like the Fugio locations. Um this one I don't remember it. I wonder if you can get to the other side of it. Yay, yep, found it. Good to hear it with plans for stream today if you don't mind asking. Of course, it's Mount Farm Monday. Uh so we had a what's it? Hang on. Quest with oh, Okay, so not on wow head I take it. Um <laughs> Uh, is it Jiro to Hero? Is that what I'm looking at? Is that the one that you're saying I should check on? I should probably go see if I can get to that boss first. That wasn't the one I wanted to do anyway. There we go. After researching, ah, uh, okay, cool, cool. Let's see if I can get to the protector. Done Antros this week, so I can close that off. I'll close off achievements and battle what pets. creatures fill this area? We tried to stop them, but it has not gone well. Please help us. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Find out. Ah, okay. <laughs> Protectors are down. Uh, that's okay. Let's go back. Uh, sound the movement of the mouse coaching in the ground. It is, isn't it? Like both disgusting and lovely all at the same time. I should really summon Pokepok. I keep forgetting to do this. More advanced options. Activate aggressive coroutines. Okay. Hello, Panda. Doing well? How are you? Evening, Dunno. Doing so bad today? Yeah, not too bad. 
Not too bad. What does this Jura do? Nothing. Good. Summon button. His ability does use his energy. Summon button that is the ability. Oh, I see. Spin cycle. Got you. Okay. Yeah, it says two pocket pocket energy. It says it in the tooltip. <clears throat> That's okay. It works as a silence as well, though, which is pretty cool. Thanks. Awesome. Time for dinner. Enjoy, Rel. Enjoy. <laughs> Everyone is going to be killing the ever living out of out of Tuckwitz once uh once that happens. Ooh, okay. I broke it. How do you reset? That. My least favorite. I like it. It's my impressive energy. Oh no! So it's here's the universe. Oh, this one. Get the glowy shit out of the way. Um, I when when we first learned how to do it through the quest chain, I explained how to do it because it immediately made sense to me. But um, Firim used exceptionally confusing language to explain how the puzzle works, uh, and it's because it's trying to use like in-game language uh, and not just be like, make sure there is a circle and a square. Do you know what I mean? Like it's. I understand why they did what they did, but it was hella confusing. It was hella confusing. Mm, I'm trying to refer that one to the lights. Yeah, this one, this one at least you can actually kind of sit there and figure out what it is, whereas the lights you kind of, like, there's a little bit of... I mean, absolutely, it's a strategy thing, but... I don't know, it's, it's tricky for me to kind of visualize exactly what's going to happen when I do stuff. I kind of only think two to three moves ahead with the, with the lights one. Um, whereas this one, I can sit and plan it all out. So once you get it, it's easy. Correct, yeah. I, that's what I feel like anyway. But, of course, there are people who don't find puzzles easy. And therefore, this puzzle is never going to be easy for them. And that's okay. That's, you know, it's totally okay. Um, there is an add-on that essentially figures it out for you. Um, there is, there is no shame in using an add-on. There is no shame in brute forcing it with the the nine energy all that kind of stuff like i'm not going to judge anyone i'm just i prefer to do stuff myself personally uh, but that doesn't mean i'm going to judge others for for doing that <clears throat> it was an absolute massacre okay because we had a lot of units at the end of last stream like a lot right so this one the first thing i can tell you is that the middle runes so I'm talking like the square here, the circle here, the circle here. Every, all three of these sets are going to be one, two, three. Because like when you look at, there, there is three of each. There's three twos, three ones, and three threes. But this here, the all three ones, is not a set. Therefore it has to be one in the middle, two in the middle, three in the middle for every round. Um, there is no singular triangle. So each of these triangles are going to be a different set. Um, which means we're going to end up with three different sets. Even though I can, there's, there's a, you know, a one square, a two square, and a three square. They, that doesn't work as a set either. So each of the triangles are going to be in their own set. So we can start with one of them. Um, 
there aren't three squares around the outside, so it can't be this one. Uh, and it also can't be the two, the circle. It, it can't all be twos because this one, the circle around the outside, there isn't a, a circle. There isn't a, a double around the outside that is a hexagon. That's a triple. So it's going to have to be one of each. Uh, so it means we're looking at the one as that's that's its base one. Uh, then looking at the threes, all three of them are circles, so it could be any of those. Uh, it has to be the three. But that's what I did last- isn't that what I did last time? And I said I broke it. Like, it has to be that one. Because you got one, two, three. Five set. So time I've been so time poor recently. Yeah, of course, of course. That's the only one it can be. But I chose those ones last time, and then I decided that I'd broken it. So let's <laughs> um, let's go with this one as the next one because we know that the triangles have to be in all different sets. Um, so out of the twos that are left, oh, I see. Because they each had double circles around the outside, and then this one, you got a three, a two, and a one, a triangle, a circle, a square. A single, a double, a triple, a circle, a square, a hex. So that's your last set. I don't know why I thought I broke it the first time. I didn't. I just wasn't paying enough attention. I guess it's because I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable explanation. Um, so we're gonna hook around this way, and I'm gonna set that as the- because that's the entrance to get into there, by the looks of it. So let's go do that. Just look for a feature that has five. Okay. Mm, made a lot more sense. Yeah, it's- look, um... Understanding how to do those kind of puzzles is one thing. Um... Being able to translate how your mind is actually doing the puzzle into English is a separate skill. Uh, and it's one that I've, well, I, being able to put, I, and I can't always do it. Like, this is not, this is not me trying to brag. Um, I'm, I haven't always, uh, it, be, <laughs> learning how to translate my brain movements into um, into English is something that I've, uh, I've learned how to do over a while. I'm pretty sure- oh, okay, sure, that's fine. Um, is something I've learned how to do over, like, a while. Let's wait a minute for the cooldown. Um, <clears throat> I really enjoyed the five lights puzzle. It all did last six back. It takes a bit more thinking though. It does. I really like that they've put because I I'm a puzzle fiend. I I love puzzles, puzzle games, and all that kind of like they're my jam. Other than WoW, I would say my favorite genre of gaming is is puzzles. Um. Uh. So, like puzzles and and like sim simulate not the sims i do like the sims but i mean like simulation games so city skylines or, or big pharma or that kind of like those kind of simulation st type stuff um and then but puzzles <laughs> if it's if it's puzzles with a good storyline oh you've got me i'm hooked uh, <laughs> and so this is kind of this is this is what i do um So when WoW has had puzzles in the past, I've been really excited. I've been like, oh my god, it's a puzzle! Like, it's coming, this is happening! Uh, but then most of the time, it's not been an actual... It's not been a puzzle. Like, it's not It's not really been a puzzle. Like the um, the stuff in uh, on Argus. Nyah, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> I know you're supposed to jump across there from up top. <sighs> Maybe I should do that. Uh, am I gonna 
gonna need to get up there for the first point anyway. I reckon probably so. Um. So yeah, once once they've actually started including like the, yeah, so on on Argus when they had the the three colored lights and I'm like, oh, this looks like a puzzle. And then the literal puzzle was, how do you make orange? I'm like. It's not a bloody puzzle. Um, but yeah, no, it's, um, now that they've got actual puzzles, I'm, I'm really excited about it. The, the, the wire frame things and, and Bejeweled's not a puzzle. Like it's, I know it's technically a puzzle game, but it's not like the kind of puzzle I like. It's not a thinky puzzle. Uh, it's a, it's a keep clicking stuff until it happens puzzle. Um, and... So, firstly, I'm really, really, really glad that they've introduced actual, genuine, tricksy puzzles. However, I'm also really pleased that they've given players who are not puzzle-inclined an easy out. That makes me really happy, because the last thing I want is for the forums to just be full of people bitching that they can't do half the shit because they don't know how to do puzzles. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's not... This isn't a puzzle game, I get that, so it's it's good that they have an option there for people who just can't... who can't wrap their brains around it, and that's okay. Everyone's brain works differently. Uh, so yeah, it's... I think it's a good... a good choice. Um, do about them, but there's so much fun. Oh, unchanged vintage is Fedora Shadows. It is very useful at the moment, but as of like Wednesday, like this week, you can unlock flying. It's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna matter. Ah, uh, seriously, what's it go up there for any cosmos energy? I know, I've like, see how I've got all those runes? The only way to get up there is by trend teleporting up there and stuff. Uh, I know how the area works. Um, Jas and I went and did it uh, one day just after launch. Well, rather, I should say, I did it, and then Jas followed me once he figured out what I'd done. <laughs> These things hurt, don't they? Maybe they just hurt because I'm weak. Let's let's numb some food, and then let's go do the porty thing. Um, to get the mentors and arguing someone in later, but same result. Explanations doesn't make sense to each other due to brain workings. Exactly, exactly right. Uh, for a to unlocks. Yep. So much fun. There's also this one. Yes. Uh, to the old adventure games in Neo Jones, Fate Atlantis, Monkey Island. I, I'm. <laughs> Being there, done that. <laughs> I, uh, I did buy the. Um, uh, Humble had a mist bundle recently uh, with a bunch of like the, the later games, and um, uh, this is not what I wanted. That's right. Uh, and stuff like that. So I went and bought those. Uh, I've played through Mist, but I haven't played through any of the sequels. Um, so, I have those there. Um, of course, when I played through them, I was much younger, and when I got stuck on something, I was impatient and just, uh, um, did the thing. Googled the answers. Well, not Googled, because I was younger, obviously, but like, oh, so the, it, it's, oh, it is in here. Okay. Like I have to do the teleporty thing for the oh, maybe I do. It's downstairs. I don't think that's a door, that's just um Am I in the gravity repose? I am. Oh, but it is a door because there's there's a path. Do I have to unlock them by getting that last rune? Oh, this is useful. we knew we could find, I think.
pretty sure it's supposed to be under here. Like, Jas told me where it was and now I've forgotten. Because he ended up finding it. Ah, oh, is it? It was, it was something to do with this bloody thing. Now, I don't remember what it was. This and I may I did, except unfortunately the uh maze I ended up finishing in 45 minutes. And I was very upset. Because people had said it had taken them hours and hours and hours, and I was looking forward to it, and then I banged it out in 45 and I was pissed. Um if it was a keep monkey island games. I brushed three point. Absolutely. See, hey Josh. I mean how that it happen. What are the runes used for? Oh, it's the name of the location. Uh, name of the year. I think it's teleporters as well. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I knew where the... <laughs> okay, so uh, there's this thing called backseat gaming. Uh, just be careful that you're not just like telling me to do stuff because uh, that's not, that's not what we do here. Um... Hello, VK. What are we hunting today? Uh, everything for Zerath Mortis uh, mount stuff. So patterns, lattices, glimmers, all the all the fun stuff. All the fun stuff. <sighs> but how did I? Just told me, and my bloody mind has just gone kasplat, and I've forgotten. Because we, I found all of these ones using my door of shadows, because I was just hopping around all the place, um, and then. And I remember him saying he swung the camera weirdly and he found it underneath that pile there, but we couldn't figure out how to break it. And then he said it's had something to do with this one, but I don't know how to interact with it. Maybe I haven't researched the right thing at the, um, at the what's it. At the, uh, Hoover Doover. Six time I got it was fun. Uh, basic gaming, like I don't know much about the content you're doing right now. Well, if you were if you were backseat gaming consistently, and I'd asked you to stop, you would have gotten timed out and or banned. Like it's literally like, if I'm trying to figure something out myself, I don't want people telling me just do it like this. Like, fuck off. Like stop it. You know, I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, I understand that it can be difficult to like bite your tongue when you know what's going on, but it's um. It's, it's respect. Uh, right, I think I mustn't have the I mustn't have the right stuff to be able to uh, interact with the servitor. I don't think it was max cosmic energy because we killed everything up here and it didn't help. Channel, exactly. Exactly, but that's the thing. Like, if, if someone's asked for no backseat gaming and a person continues to backseat game. That's just disrespectful. You know, like it's it's not okay. without getting your face smashed in. Literally a grey. Ugh. Ugh. 
That's convenient. It's the other one. There is still the one that's inside the thing, but that's the other one at least. Shape is in Pocket Park. Well, you can take Pocket Park with you because it's the um, there's a pet that you can buy from the vendor. I think it's at Exalted. have died up there before because I did I could have sworn it didn't put me down last time but maybe I just didn't die well what creatures fill this area mm, I tried to stop them but it has hey, nurse. Well. Please, an excellent little us. tank hello Alex hug indeed It surprised me when I got teleported. I mean, it makes sense, because how the hell would you get up there when you can't interact with anything as a ghost? But it just gave me a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> oh, God. I'm pretty sure there was a bong in that game, and when you used it, like, so it triggered a set of things and it killed you or something. I can't remember. Like, the, the bong didn't kill you, obviously. But um, it triggered a series of unrelated events that ended up annihilating you. It was kind of hilarious. Okay. Uh, oh, covered relic. God, they can be anywhere, hey. Need help? No, nah, I'm good. Uh, can't be clicked on. Oh, that sucks. Doesn't look like there's one here. Look, if I don't get all the recipes today, that's not a super big deal. Um, we can start farming up. I can go turn in what I have, because I do have a few. Um, I can go turn in what I've got and then grab some the other bits. So the pulp covered relics can move. I'm not sure I've seen one before. Yep, yeah, totally fine. Not a problem. I'm guessing I don't actually have pop pop down, I should probably that. Sake. Or you what? Why? museum do you have? Uh, three. I think. 
I think I've got three. I've got 38 left to go. I've got the the one with the week's worth of quests, the patient buffeted. I've got the one from unlocking the Mount Forge. Death, what's it? And I've got um, the Deep Star Orlid. The Hurricane Mount. Thought so. <laughs> Let's go check out this one. Okay, not when there's nobody else around. <laughs> uh, that's almost a million health, and I am a mage. I am a squishy. Alright, so. Taking so much damage, to be honest. For sake. I was far enough away. Clearly not. Clearly not. What's your highest DPS character you have? My main. Like, like their eye levels are all nothing except for you. I don't play my other tunes. Their their chances at mounts, their collectors, their the collectible things, their all that kind of stuff. Um, they're not. They're not geared. Um. Uh, that makes me laugh every time I say that. I don't know why. Uh, do people still use the term glass cannon? They do. I do. I don't know if they do, but I certainly do. But yeah, no, mages are definitely still glass cannons. Um, once you get a bit more gear, it's fine, but every time a new patch comes out and we have a new zone and everything scales up, it's just. Oh, God, it sucks. I'm like permanently hyper careful because I just, I know that I can't take the hits. We have slightly more survivability than we used to, but it's still trash. Like, <laughs> still trash. <clears throat> Let's go check this one out. And then is it just that last one over there or is there another one that I was missing? It looks like there's just the four, four locations. Uh, do you have all the mat recipes? That is what I am doing, Crud. Uh, you can see the locations of them with the little hoofs. Um, and then the little cages are the um, pet recipes. It's Handy Notes that does that. Um... My rogue kept dying. Yeah, rogues are hella squishy. Like, I wouldn't have expected my rogue, I mean, granted my rogue is massively undergeared, I get that, but I would not have expected my rogue to be as squishy as my mage. Like, they at least have leather, you know? It's just, it's a bit, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it should be this squishy as it is. Enough, yeah, but 
Let's try this again. Brilliant, I will get there when I get there. <laughs> yeah, just working my way around the map, crossing the you know, knocking out all the all the nodes. I'm sure I will see it. Uh, the handy notes is really good at popping information, like how to get it if it's tricksy, uh, in the in the tooltip of the thingy. If you haven't used handy notes before, I highly recommend it. Uh, okay. Oh, I kind of track with that one. Alright. Oh, that's the sure. It's fine. <clears throat> Something up. Doesn't look like the pulp covered relic is up here either. <clears throat> it's okay. to pick it up when I was doing it, but I didn't have the thing unlocked. Um, hey Jenny, how are you going? What'd you say is your biggest tip for a beginner mage? Take it slow. Like, learn, like, just, just explore and, and have fun with it and all that kind of stuff, but literally just don't, if you, if you see a bunch of other players pulling 50 million things and, and blah, blah, like, just take it slow. Learn your own personal limit. Like one mage could pull 20 things and be totally fine, and another mage can pull five and fall over. Like, um, just, just take it slow. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff that makes it go faster and survivability stuff and all that comes later. Comes once you've leveled up a bit. So, um, Take Shimmer sure Talent, Frost Nova is very helpful, yeah. Yep, I'm sure Frost Mage, you pull a million things and slowly kill them. Sometimes, again, it depends on the it depends on the player. Sam. Like, some players know their entire toolbox inside and out, and they know exactly when to use what and how to use it, and blah blah blah. Whereas other people just kinda, ah oh, no, and press all the flashy buttons, and then they're like, wait, why am I dead? How how did I you know, it's it, it really you've got to take the time to learn your bloody class. Like, and that and that goes for everything. That's not just mages, that goes for literally everything. This one. Oh, it's a light one. Yeah, you can you can handle that. Uh <clears throat> um. run away before the things hit you, correct. Correct. So for us never blink and cast, yep. Uh, you know it. Thank you very much for the biddies. Ah, uh, but it was to link in and out of mobs. Aggro. Well, if there's no one else for them to be aggroed on, dropping aggro does nothing. Like, unless you're actually in a group, dropping aggro does nothing. Unless you're removing yourself entirely from combat, but that results in everything, like, resetting. And then, you know... Yeah. Ugh. She's learning this too. <laughs> hey, Yuri, Zam, Dan, and Dunno, congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards we go. I'm gonna turn the aircon off. <clears throat> oh, I got my 
my kills. Okay. just that one. Got that, don't I? I wish there was an option somewhere to turn off certain things, that, certain notifications from Perceptive Pocketbox. It'd be really, really nice. No relic here. It's okay. Oh, that's the Froggit one. Might drop off these pets, uh, pet schematics while I'm here. Um, uh, how do I avoid being squishy? Be a beer hunter. <laughs> yeah, but you may still be squishy. It's your beasts that are taking the hits. Everything is they're expecting pets. No, I know, I know. That's why I wish there was a way we could like program him to not tell me about stuff that I've already clicked and get nothing from. Go. Those are both two. Which I can't speak to anyway. Um, you told me about that one already. Shush. I'm quiet. Silence you. Oh, this bit. I remember. This is Trixie. There are some here I might just have to wait for flying for because I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do, but that's okay. I am happy to wait. Um, what is the- is it just called Pathfinder again? Is it Path to Enlightenment? No. No. <laughs> what is the achievement called now? Unlocking the secrets. Cool. So I just need... Oh! Firim! Oh, fuck yeah. I can grab those. That's easy. There's a, um... There's a handy notes module for that. Um, super, super easy. <clears throat> oh. It's uh, yeah, unlocking the secrets rewards Earth Mortis flying. So all I need is the storyline from Wednesday and Firim's text switch. That's easy. Oh, hello. You, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. You little shit. There we go.
So this is the tricky one I can't figure out, is how to get up the top there. Because I'm pretty sure it's like up up, rather than like here somewhere. That's not even where the mount is. The mount's over there, I think. Oh, oh so it's on the other pillar. Okay, good. So it should be like this one now. Heading says, I'm, yep, correct. I'm watching Race to a first. Nah. It doesn't really interest me, honestly. Um, I get updates from literally everywhere, and I, I just. No. I mean, obviously, I'm impressed by their skill and all that kind of stuff. They're fantastic players, clearly. But I just don't really. Yeah, it doesn't really interest me. There you go. There you go. Okay, you are out of range. Not. I can't see anything. I can see the inside of the pillar though. That's kind of funky. <laughs> now there we go. I can see the top. Enough of the top to probably be able to step up there. <clears throat> Just have to wait a bit. Let me confer with my sources. No. Thank you for the biddy, Stan. Much appreciated. Ugh, 24 seconds. Try to eat some more of these beans. Hey, I've still got a couple left. How many have I got left? Six. Eight. I've got eight beans left from Saturday. <laughs> Rotten egg. Good. but sometimes a necessity. <clears throat> Hello, Pilford Curio. Found you. <clears throat> yes, I could wait until I have flying. No, I don't want to. Piss off. <laughs> I'm impatient and stubborn. Two things that most of my community seem to really like about me. <laughs> I guess it makes for entertainment, hey? Okay, Juro to Hero, there's the quest that Jack was talking about. The step one is Broken Circle. <clears throat> Let's copy that. So I haven't done step one. So I need to speak to Hanoa the Exile. Okie dokie. While I wait for it to regenerate. First research line. Why are you evade bugging? Come down here, you have wings. for us. Good. I am glad. How are you very well? Thank you, Crom. How are you doing? How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, 
Oh, another one has spawned already. Good lord. Okay, that's fine. Over back. Why does that not trigger? Why does learning that not trigger ATT? Makes me really unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> Fetch on my pet, yes. Need rain and cool weather. Oh, crumb, I hope you get them soon. It's definitely got something to do with it, eh? Oh, there it is. Alright. Oh, there it is. Can I reach it from here? No. <laughs> Good. I'm already working on it. Thank you, Jack, for checking that for me. Appreciate it. Seven seconds. this one hidden under the platform malfunction construct malfunction constructor is standing on okay that's why i haven't been able to see it before <clears throat> ah there we go look something easy to find Inside a floating cage. By one time treasure, which I look like I've already gotten. Uh, okay, we know Buzz isn't up at the moment. That one, Frog, it's not available. Those two can't be got, neither can those two currently. Um, get that one out later. Oh, I could get that as well. Okay, so maybe we go hit. this one up and then grab this one go grab that one and then swing back to the tractor creeper ah oh, shit once we grab this one we'll go over and grab that there are I, we could farm for that one get a group together and farm for them
this letter. Cool. All right. Almost all of them. We're doing all right. At least I think I'm doing all right. Chest while I'm here. Oh, it's even. Shackles and chains. The scryer. Down? What? Ah, oh, it must be inside. Is it inside? Hi, the Sunwell. Inside. Ah, Zarin! Converting from a Prime Gaming sub to a Tier 1 sub. Thank you very much. You are having a fantastic day, and now there's a caster outside. Good! Schematic. Schematic. Go grab this one. <laughs> so for at least another six months. Oh my god! Six months in advance, Aaron. Holy cow! Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can still press the button every month. So, like, don't forget to do that. Like to like proc the uh, the notification and stuff. Oh, it's Church Redemption. Brilliant. I'll do that shortly. Oh, there you go. I see it. <clears throat> And see if I can grab the one from the world boss island. That's my preference too. Amazing. Fun fact, it makes it cheaper for you, but I still get my full cut. And I don't get it as a lump sum. It splits it up over the months. So like it keeps my, my income more stable. How good's that? I mean, like, honestly, I'm the kind of person that would probably be totally fine if I got paid once a year and then was it like, I, I'm really, really good at budgeting. Um, so like I could probably do it, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it helps keep my income quite a bit more stable, which is really, really awesome. And that's what I need, right? Is financial stability to be able to make this a full-time endeavor. So. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a sucker for punishment, Koaz. The amounts. Jess, welcome home. I didn't hear you come in. I'm, uh, 
Look, I haven't eaten since my sushi, actually. I should probably go grab a snack. I think there's there's lunch in the fridge, isn't there? I should probably get that. Okay, what is this? Found on top of the arch structure. On the other side. <clears throat> Teach me your way, senpai. It just, honestly, it's it's massive self-control, honestly. Uh, like, when you do your budget and you know this money is for rent, you don't spend on anything else. You just don't. Like, <laughs> and that what that's what seems to be the big issue for people is they just seem, oh, look, the number in my bank account went up. I've got money to spend. But no, you don't. No, you don't. You know you don't. You know that you don't. So why did you spend it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's the that's the big thing that people just don't get is that you know that money has to go somewhere. You know the money has a job, but people just see number and they make the number go lower, uh, and that's not how it's meant to work. Um, I use a program called YNAB. Uh, it stands for You Need a Budget. Uh, and I've been using it for well over a decade. It is paid, there's a subscription. Uh, but, yeah, it's, um... It's an actual... it is. <clears throat> it pays for itself over and over in the amount of money that... Because like, I know what my money is doing, like, I know what it's for. Um, and so, yeah, it, it helps a lot. They also do when you uh when you first um when you first get a subscription with them or when you start the uh the trial they have like a 36 day free trial i think it is so that you have just more than like just more than a month that's gonna make me fall again yeah um so that you can really get a feel for how it works with your entire monthly thing because most things most things that you pay for are monthly um, or at least will occur during a month. There, is, there are a few things that are like annually or, or six monthly or something like that, but not too many. Um, and when when you sign up for the trial and stuff, you get a uh, uh, like an email course, basically. They, they send you an email. I, I don't think it's every day. I think it's every few days. Um, and basically walk you through their philosophy of budgeting. Uh, and it's it, that sounds really stuffy. It's It's not. Um, <clears throat> I am like, grateful. Oh, Landa, thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, uh, like, one of the things is roll with the punches. Uh, and roll with the punches means, like, if you overspend in a category, don't beat yourself up about it. It happens. You know, now you know that, like, when, when you purchase that thing or when, when you spend on that, you know, and especially if it starts happening, like, if it happens regularly, like, you're constantly overspending that budget, now you know you haven't budgeted enough in that category. So you need to increase that category. What does that mean? It means that you need to take money out of a different category. So do that. Like, you know, lower the budget somewhere and raise it where you need it. Uh, and another one is uh, give every dollar a job. Every dollar a job. Uh, spending money, or like, or fun money, as I like to call it. Fun money, your disposable income. Fun money is a job. But every single dollar has to have a job. So, I like, you've got, you've got money that goes to rent. You've got money that goes to phone bill, internet, uh, registration for the car, petrol food groceries uh like your, your weekly shop and i i include like cleaning supplies and stuff anything that comes from the supermarket i include in the grocery budget um uh fast food if you if you regularly have takeout category for it travel transportation so if you take public transport i do i've got a transportation budget i have a psychologist budget i have a medical budget because we all know fear has entirely too many medical things that are going on uh so i have money that does that um, but then I also have a category for a lottery ticket. So I have I have money that I have budgeted to purchase a lottery ticket. I have a budget a category for Netflix. Uh, I have a category for YNAB for paying my YNAB subscription. Literally anything that I spend money on 
falls into one of the categories. Um, and then what, so, you know, when you, when you get paid and you put, you divvy up all your stuff and you put it into all your different categories, um, whatever's left, you may have a fun money category for just spending on whatever takes you fancy at any given moment. Um, you may have a savings, uh, thing. Maybe, maybe you'll want to save up for like a really big bloody TV, like a really big TV. And it's not something you can just buy. Uh, and so you say, okay, I want to get a $3,000 television. And so you set yourself a goal to put every, if you get paid fortnightly, every fortnight I'm going to put away $50 worth of my disposable, I don't know, I'm pulling numbers out my ass. Um, and YNAB will tell you whether or not you're on target for your savings, if you're behind, if you're ahead. Um, and so that's what I have for my dentistry budget. And you can set yourself a deadline and that's how you, that's how it can tell you whether you're ahead or behind. Is like, it, you'll say, you know, I have, I need $23,000 by October 1st, 2022. And then every time I put money in there, but like because it's Twitch money and I don't get it till halfway through the month, the first half of the month it says, you are behind on your savings goal. And then when I put the money in, it goes, you are on target for your savings goal. So like, but it, it keeps you motivated because you can see how close you are and you can see that you're gonna hit it by that deadline and that's when it's gonna happen. This is one of the reasons I freaking it, it, YNAB is a spreadsheet on crack. It is essentially what it is. Um, <clears throat> so I had a small structure. Ah, there it is. Perfection. I'm gonna go turn all of these in now because I have entirely too many quests in my log. I'm surprised I've got them. I'm surprised I can actually have all of these. Oh, there's actually not as many as I thought. Never mind. Um, but yeah, YNAB is phenomenal. Um, I do, I think I've got a, I can generate a referral link and I think it's doxing safe. Like I don't think it gives you my name and stuff because of course it has my name uh, on my profile and stuff. But I think that anyone who signs up and pays for a month of, subscri of their subscription, I think they get, oh shit, that's too many. Um, I'm pretty sure you get a free month for using my referral link, but I get a free month when somebody uses my referral link. Um, so that's nice. But uh, I pay, and I pay annually. Like I, I say, because again, I'm bloody good at budgeting. So I can save up to have that lump sum ready so that when it comes out by direct debit, I don't even feel it. I don't even feel it. The dentist this morning cost me $900. I didn't feel it. When I paid my, I be paid my surgery, $2,550. It's fine. I don't, I didn't even feel that money go because of, because it's part of my budget. It, it didn't affect any of my other expenditure. Done. Uh, anethetist, 950. I'm getting a bit of that back. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, Medicare. But yeah, 950. Gone. Fine. Didn't feel it. It's, it's amazing having financial stability and it's also, it's, um, is it financial intelligence? Is that the word I'm looking for? Like not, not just knowing about money, but understanding your own financial position, where you're at, what you have, what it's supposed to be for, and then not spending it on what it's not meant to be spent on. Like making sure that that dollar is spent on its purpose is... It's so freeing. I do not ever stress about money. Talking about spending $23,000 on my teeth, I kind of go, Aah! but not because I'm stressed about like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is so stressful. Like, what am I going to do? How the fuck am I going to get $23,000 together? It's not about that. It's, I know what my options are. I'm putting all of the money from Twitch away. I mean, obviously I've got stuff I'm putting into my super and stuff I'm putting aside to spend on tax because I need to pay taxes on my Twitch income. But um, everything else is good. Like, look, I'm gonna be completely 100% honest. There is a little bit that I have spent on fun stuff because I only have one life and I would like to live it. Uh, so if we do get a, a takeout for dinner, um, when we went and did the grocery shopping the other day, um, we grabbed ready to eat food from Woolies. I got sushi and Jas got chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings! Chicken wings. And, and that's fun money because it's not groceries. It's not, I do not usually spend $11 on a goddamn meal, but 
sometimes you have to enjoy life a little bit. But all that money is going away, and I know that if I don't get to the 23 grand by the time I need to, I can take out loans. I have loans available at, to, to like, they're, they're there, I can take them. But I know that the loan is not going to be 23 grand. It's going to be a hell of a lot smaller than that if I have to take one. And that is a fucking good feeling. Hello. Greetings. Hi. So, um, I've just realized that I got no meat out for dinner. High five. And Speaking of fun money. <coughs> and you haven't had your lunch. No, because I came home and felt the closet. So. You want me to have my lunch for dinner? Would you like to have your lunch for dinner? <laughs> um. It's pretty yeah, tasty. I can, I can vouch for it. Yeah, what are you going to have though? Not too hungry at the moment. Otherwise, there's all later. these snacks I got from mum the other week. What, you're gonna have a bunch of bloody less snacks for dinner? Damn right! <laughs> <laughs> less snacks um, through raid. leave a pot of vegetables? Yeah, I used part of it for my lunch. But on the positive note, there was less than a meal's worth of snacks. Just like, yep. This is why we complete our task when we are doing it. I was in a rush. People that don't do things when they're in a rush. Don't have lunch in Grab, then. Grab the pot, put a tea towel on the bottom of it, and stick the whole thing in the fridge. Yeah, that would have worked. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> not sure if that pot fits in the fridge, but that would have worked. You can figure you can shuffle things around, it's fine. Um, yeah, let's let's do that then. Um, do we still have any like chips and bits and bobs left for the weekend air fry? Not really. I thought we had like a small amount of chips left. Or did you eat them when we did the potato chips? Small amount of chips. Just very small amount of chips. No potato chips. Yeah. Okay. We do still have frozen veg. You could have a bowl yeah, of frozen veg. If I get veg. hungry, I'll have some. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll do that then. I could always just eat your breakfast. You can have tomorrow. Tomorrow for breakfast. <sighs> How was work? Not too bad. Good. I'm glad also to that. Are you gonna come farm lettuce with me? Did you did, did you read? I got I got my wolf on this morning. I think I did. I remember that. Because it drops off of non elites. You yeah. can just beat up all of the wolves in the area. Zen media and Zen, congratulations on your bonus shit. Yeah, you didn't know that? I accidentally killed one wolf while walking past, and guess what? It fucking dropped. <laughs> Do you not have all the things installed? No. Okay, when you when you mouse over something, in its tooltip it says what it can drop and what it can be used for, and it says lattice. Yeah, you should probably get it. It's actually really useful for more than just transport hunting. Yeah, I'm like 23 minutes off, so I should probably farm that now that I don't have to cook dinner. <laughs> um, I'm about ready to start farming stuff. Um, cool, because I've got a monk tank, and I've heard about this really good area to farm moats. Oh, good. Do they drop other things as well, though? Because I don't need just moats. They might. <laughs> look at know. look at all the patterns I have. fucking quests do you need? All of them. I wonder what my Zam my Zam percentage is currently at thirty point eight one. When I refresh this. So anyway, does anybody else want to come and farm moats? Yeah. Because I got sure a statue and a monk. Given that more than half of the group voted for Zam, I'm assuming it's because they want to join us. Though so I will have to go around. Uh, maybe twenty. I do like bubble tea. Oh, Why okay. would you make another Death Runner? But apparently the wolf flies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of them fly. But it doesn't fly, apparently. Well, it just runs through the air. It swims. Yeah, that, <laughs> that makes Somebody sense. Somebody forgot an animation or two. Spider mounts, the raptors. But, oh, oh, the crystallized echo of the first song. I have that. I just need the lettuce and a crap load of moats. 27,000 moats total to go. Oh, good lord. Right, so how are we looking? For 
recipes. How about they got 50? Oh, is it saying I haven't crafted them yet? Is that what's... Okay, rather than not having the recipes. No, because... These are, these are recipes I don't have. Why does it not show... Why does it not show me where I get these recipes from? That's a bit silly. That makes me really upset. Uh, alright, let's do a... Gonna have a squiz of that, indeed. If I breathing dragons in, maybe only very pretty painted claws and nails. What are we worth like a dragon sleep on it? Yes. Multiple accounts, some of them don't have cards. So I done just tap all the existence. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, I know how much I have to spend on different things, and so I, I don't grab things off the shelf that exceed my budget. Like, that's just, yeah. Um. My one weakness. Yeah, but would you like to have, like, short-term happy brain juice versus long-term financial stability? Trust me, it gives you a hell of a lot more happy brain juice than, like, the one-off when you purchase something. Um, make some tacos. Enjoy. All these streams come and useful knowledge. Aw, yay. Yeah, look, money is the thing that I, is one thing that I know. Like, I, I'm an assistant accountant. That's my day job. Uh, and I have been doing my own accounting um, like my own, my own accounts for literally decades. Um, I've always been really good at money. Um, it helps that I speak numbers better than I speak English. Um, but yeah. My dentist recently pre ordered canal. I mean, it's actually because we're 345. Yes, a lot. Not, not much given on. And am I? Fair, fair. Yeah, my, um, the, this was the second appointment. This morning was my second appointment getting, uh, this particular tooth fixed up. Uh, I had a failed root canal. Uh, so the first one was taking out everything that was in there and stuffing in some antibiotic things and sealing it up again. That was 900. And then this appointment was taking that out and reinstalling a new post. Um, and that was 900. Uh, and then I've got to go back to my regular dentist who's going to take out the temporary filling because apparently it's not a permanent filling I have in there now it's still a temporary and she's going to take out the temporary put in a permanent and stuck a crown on it and that's going to be about two grand um plus the fact that um the crown's not going to fit over the tooth because the tooth next to it has grown into the gap that was left by the break um so I need like Invisalign or something similar to straighten everything out and that in and of itself is four grand um and then, yeah, the, the tooth down the bottom was totally ruined. Um, I It's like four or five failed root canals and there wasn't enough tooth left to do another root canal. There just there just wasn't enough natural tooth. Uh, so I went and had surgery uh, to have that extracted and a bone graft put in. That was uh, $16.50 for the surgeon, just under a grand for the anaesthetist, and then just under a grand again for the hospital fees. And then this second surgery is to actually put the implant in. And that's going to be, that's two and a half grand plus the grand for the anaesthetist plus the grand for the hospital fees. Um, and then I've got to go back and get a crown put on that, which is going to be somewhere between 12 to 1600 bucks, um, just depending. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's very expensive. Um, but it's all being done over the course of like over a year. So, and I only have to pay for things as they happen. So I'm able to save up over time it's not like I have to drop 23 grand as a lump sum and then have everything done it's it's happening like it's paid for as it's happening uh which is absolutely helpful um visual intelligence normally also means understanding your own approach and how to work well with what works for you some people find it easy to budget in spreadsheets other work better uh in cash as that works for them yeah absolutely for sure um Ask uh, financial literacy. Financial literacy. That's what I was. That was the word I was looking for. Not financial intelligence. Thank you, Meaty. That was what I was. Yeah. yeah five and six again. Allowance have to use it to buy usage of classroom furniture, etc. Can pay more for more preferred chair. Uh, they can apply for jobs and use the extra for savings and buy special rewards. That's really cool. Really, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, we had similar sort of things, but it wasn't like an ongoing program. It was just like a one or two classes, like a, a session where we learned about money and then another session where we learned about money. Um, but our year 10, 
I want to say it was our year 10 school camp. I think it was year 10. Um, we went to Melbourne City. I grew up in Victoria. We went into Melbourne City and the school booked out a floor of a backpackers. Um, so we're all in like dorms and stuff like that. It was the entire year level. And um, we eat, we were, we assigned ourselves to like groups of 10, uh, groups of 10 kids. And we, uh, each day, we could do whatever the hell we wanted, whatever we wanted, but we had a budget. So we had to decide if we wanted to go and do free stuff and then have like a really awesome, so breakfast was provided, dinner was provided usually at the backpackers. There were a couple of days where it wasn't, it was an entire week. Uh, and the teacher, we had each, each group of 10 had uh, an assigned teacher. Um, we got the best teacher. Anyway, uh, and they held the money and we'd sit down in the morning, we'd all have breakfast together and we'd say, okay, what are we doing today? If we wanted to go and do something that involved like an admission fee or something, it had to come out of our budget, which meant that we had less to spend on lunch and things like that. If we wanted to get, um, uh, if we uh, wanted, so we had like a group fund and then we each had an individual budget for things individually, like, like uh, um, uh, trinkets and things that we wanted to buy, souvenirs, uh, if we wanted to buy something individually, but it didn't come out of the group budget. But yeah, we had to sit down at the start of each day and make sure that we could cover everything that we wanted to do. Um, and and then we went out and did it. And so that was kind of our like week long, it was a school camp, but it was also very educational. It wasn't just, you know, abseiling and stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was, it was really good. And what it meant was that each group, each friendship group throughout, throughout the year level, um, could go and do what they wanted to do. Like we went and we did bloody free stuff. All that we went to, you know, museums and galleries and and went exploring and did, you know, all this kind of bits and pieces. Uh, there was another group that literally every single day of the entire week they went shopping. I kid you not, they went to a different shopping place each each of the five like business days of the because we went like Monday morning and came back Friday night. Um, and they just went shopping. They spent their entire budget on stuff. Um, and then there were others that went and did like sporting things and, and, you know, went indoor squash and all that kind of stuff. Like, but it meant that we could do things that were interested, that we wanted to do, but we had to, we had to learn how to budget for it all. So it was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It obviously has left quite an impression. Um, yeah. It's a farm DPS. Kids enjoy it. have to make those decisions. The real impact. Yeah, for sure. It's not just farm solo until it's born to be time. Why? I'm gonna come. I wanna. I wanna farm stuff. I wanna farm stuff. I wanna know why this doesn't tell me where those recipes come from, though. It's a little bit annoying. Oh, oh, it's a gr okay. Gotcha. Farm will load off. Understood. So it's a Vespoid farm by the looks of it. So, um, the the schematics and stuff. So in here, like you got the mounts here. And these are ones I don't have. I know that because Buzz is one of the ones I don't have. And none of the ones I do have are listed here. But it doesn't tell me where to get them. I don't know if they drop off stuff. I don't know if, like, I, I, I it doesn't tell me. It just says Zone, SL, Xerath Mortis, Protoform Synthesis, Recipes, Mounts. It doesn't tell me where to get that recipe, you know? In ATT. I mean, it's not that big a fucking deal. I can go and like such a wow head, but it's just a little frustrating, you know? Teachers were just like, this is money, use it to buy things and pay rent. It was always like a five minute talk. I'm a spreadsheets person. I'm not fancy them being they've worked well enough for the Yeah, absolutely, BK. Absolutely. Spreadsheets are amazing. We we have a, a follower emote for spreadsheets because we love them so much. I use them a lot. Both in my professional and my personal life. Mm -hmm. 
Smoke, yeah, probably. sucks. Yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? Things are not respawning very quickly. Computers, but Dave will love a spreadsheet. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. The same. Okay, see, jellyfish on dry land. Oh no. This one isn't really that much for a group, yeah. Oh. I mean, we could always start our own farm up in the Devour area, Jess. List it so that people can uh, find it and join us in the community and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, I will drop group then. We can, uh... If anyone wants to come farm up some Genesis Motes with us, I know I need, personally, 27,000 more of them. Um, Drawn to it like catnip. Yeah, look, it's a bit that way, isn't it? it? Can be a bit that way. City place. Oh, main city place. Okay. Can do that. I'll wait for you there.
congratulations on the mount dress. Uh, where are we headed? Genesis Fields, okay. Uh, there is a group uh, in case you would like to join us. Hey Chaos, welcome back. be able to use quick join if you're on my friends list otherwise uh, you can search for it um, actually maybe what I'll do is stick there you go I've even put fear in the name so if you are not on my friends list and you can't use quick join uh, you can search for fear and you'll find the group and you can come join us <clears throat> One seventy five out of twenty seven thousand. I feel like this is gonna take multiple days of farming. <laughs> just just a couple. Just a couple. was writing it. Yeah, I've seen a few. I've seen a few lately. It's pretty awesome. Glad they were dropping at least. Even if I didn't get one. Next year.
there's no portal stairs to get it. Yeah, it does suck a bit. Honestly, there may not be portals close together, but this is still, like, practically constant spawns, which is awesome. At least you don't ever feel like you're waiting around for something. thing about a portal, things come through it, correct. Yeah, probably. <sighs> Stop dying fast enough that we can swing around. Right, is there an alliance in here somewhere or some of them are turning gray like halfway through the health bar? Or have they prevented people from doing it in a raid group? Oh the gods can tell that's bullshit. Oh my god. That is absolutely terrible. That 
there's no guard in there to have tagged that. For the alliance. Girls for the right group thing, yeah. Like someone in the other group has hit it or something. Gray. No, gray bar means you're not going to get loot from it. Even if you hit it. It's tagged by somebody else. Yeah, okay, fair. Okay, in that case, I will delist. Because obviously, more than seven is still a red group. Oh, two by four, gotcha. I wondered about that. I'm not just making a bloody raid group, but go. Okay. So she, yeah. It's an hour. That's not bad. That's not bad. So for the next three to six months, moat farming stream every Monday. <laughs> At least until we've got the 27k or whatever it is that we need. Battle. Obviously I need lattices and things like that as well, but uh It does kind of frustrate me that these guys don't drop any lattices or glimmers or anything like that. It's just the modes. Or, I mean, they might drop glimmers. I don't know. I'm not sure if um, ATT shows that in the thing. Coming from the Blue Boys. Genesis modes. Uh, the green quality bit that you need for mounts and pets. That isn't a lattice. The one you need a lot of. The one you need like 500 of for literally everything. Uh, Zam, Thor, Dano, Meaty, V, and Zombie. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Loyalty super boss chest. Make sure you place your units for this one. Ah, uh, it's a big one. This is the big one. Oh, I killed two melee units. That's what I wanted. And that should give me my 20 laurels for this other quest. Maybe. Am I trying to kill anything specifically? Place paladins. Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna place the pally. Okay. Mm. 
Uh, if we have somebody drop from group for whatever reason, uh, I'll let people know and we'll uh, fill the slot. I've got 315 Genesis modes at the moment, out of a total of 27,000 that I need. The sand pile things. I only need one more, uh, what's it? One more spatial opener. I can go all, all seven of the sand piles, which will be nice. Alright, so the Bronze Hillicid comes from the uh, weekly. Bronze Wing Vespoid is the one in the Cosmic Power place that I haven't unlocked yet. Uh, Buzz is from the pulp covered relic that I couldn't find another one of. Uh, Curious Crystal Sipper, where does that come from? It's in the raid. You must complete the final song in order to see the schematic, as you do all other mount schematics. So that's... it's... doesn't spawn until you kill the boss. It's from Holondris. Um... Uh huh? What does that mean? Uh... Justin, hello, welcome in. Uh, moat farming, more or less enjoyable than fishing group. Um... It's more involved. So less likelihood of falling asleep. And at least it's guaranteed, like, it's not just waiting for it to drop off a random attempt. It's not like I'm killing these things waiting for the 70,000th to give me a mount. It's, um, like I'm working, I'm actively working towards a number, if that makes sense. So, uh, they're, look, it's different. It's different. The fishing is nice and, and calm and soothing, and you can kind of do it while you turn your brain off. Um... This you can mostly turn your brain off as well, but it's more active, so you can't really do much else while you're doing it, sort of thing. It's, yeah, quite different. Uh, if I came in that of voice as well, I mean, well, if you're not in the group and you tag stuff, we might not be able to get them from it. So, yes. Oh, Engulfer. Actually falling asleep on no. Oh no, it's like farming the Blood Trolls last X pack. Uh,. I don't remember. What were the blood trolls being farmed for? <clears throat> Weirdly enjoyable. Especially when there's a definable goal at the end. Um, the two oh, right, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't do that stuff. Um, Out of the portal, yeah. Be nice. Uh, might I recommend coming down here? Because we can spawn a rare. <clears throat> I'm not sure if these drop the bits. There's a bit house, indeed. Um, 
should have been enough. Uh, there, um, stuff like this, they, some mobs have, like, a tap count. So, like, only five people can get loot from something, regardless of how many people hit it, even if they're all the same faction. It's to stop people from having a 40-man raid group, annihilate everything in the vicinity, and farm stuff up really, really quickly. Um, you have to touch it to get your loot. And, um, oh, that was interesting. And only five people can get loot from it. Which is why when I realized I turned the group seeker, the group finder off. Um, yeah, it was an interesting death animation. Ooh. What did you get? Ooh, grats on the sword. It's a purple lightsaber. Very pretty. Got my red one, was it yesterday? It's very, oh, is it Saturday? I'm very excited about that. That's very pretty. God, I love those models, hey? Skin spider? Appropriate. Appropriate. Gross, but appropriate. Gold on like Tim and Mika. Oh, well done! Congrats. Having all the luck today. <laughs> nice. I doubt it. I think that'll be about the same thing. Hmm. One of those. There seem to be, like, it's getting double gorges, but it's getting fewer spawns. Like, every time up there, we get three things, rather than just the one. math. 
more of a little thing is sometimes more than few of a big thing. But if it's faster, then it's faster. I trust you. Sometimes I feel like maybe I shouldn't, but I do. At 403. <laughs> Yeah, true. That is true. For itself and just do a lap of a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, look, I mean, yes, it was a bad joke, but it wasn't like a terrible joke. Why you need to laugh? Just because. So maybe I should go get my uh, food and like look at it. Cause um. Oh, I just realized it's nearly seven. Holy shit! When did that happen? How have I been live? Like, what? Good lord. Just make another mount. Oh god, Jess. You're earning. You seem to be earning them a lot quicker than I am. Or no, maybe you had more in the bank than I did. Welcome back, Dano. Yeah, going pretty well. We've got a, a nice little spot here that's working pretty well. Uh, I'm up to 433 moats. Pretty sure it takes 500 per mount, like for every mount. Uh, I'm not sure how much the pets take, maybe also 500. Uh, but I need 27,000 total, so I'm well, like I'm well away from getting all of them. But, um, on my way. So I'm playing fun and all that jazz. There's a seven, thus is the beauty of farming. You're not wrong. Not wrong. That's not a better have more than you. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I this is the first time I've actually actively farmed them, so. <clears throat> Jess has raid tonight, doesn't he? Yeah, stick your stick your um your statue down over in the path. Or is it too far? It must be too far away. Yeah, they go to the.
Uh, merit by merit, yep. It's a lot of merits it is. And I will not get it done in a day. <laughs> Jas was saying this spot is apparently five, five to nine hundred merits an hour. Um, so even, let's say it was inefficient because, hello, it may, uh, and my luck is trash. Um, so what's that? Uh, 54 hours of farming. Granted, though, you won't actually, it won't, you won't need 50 hours of farming because if you're doing your weekly and you're going and doing some dailies and world quests and stuff like that, you will get some just passively, so that'll knock off the total a bit. Um, but then, of course, there are the lattices and the glimmers and all the other stuff you need, and a lot of those are really difficult to target farm. Um, although, honestly, I do feel like we should be targeting like the blue stuff and then just getting some roots like you know targeting the lattices and stuff and then just getting roots passively but yeah, what do I know I don't do this stuff very often so um, yeah, very slack ah you're fine it's a lot of fun though definitely recommend diving in hey you're red huh Oh yeah, 400, 350, 500, 400, 400, 500, 350, 400, 350. Yeah, so there, yeah, you're right. Um, target lattice at 25k, probably hit 27 by the time you get them all fair. Fair. <clears throat> oh, SK, sorry, you could buy the lattices, yeah. Yeah, but they'll be going for a shitload for a long time. Um, not common. Yeah, I've only got one. I think. Maybe? I don't remember. But there are different glimmers as well. So that's fun. drops a lattice. They don't have a lattice that they can drop. It, it like ATT would tell me the tooltip if they could drop anything. <clears throat> 461. Glimmers are one that's, that's no. So uh, Genesis Merts are green, glimmers are blue. They're they're just a different another one. Um It's crown. It's, oh, maybe they are. No focus, glimmer of motion, glimmer of renewal, glimmer of satisfaction. Yeah, so they're like the, the secondary bits. So you've got moats, lattice, and a thing. And the glimmers are the things for the battle pets by the looks of it. But there are a lot of different ones. A lot of different ones. Should make tea. Uh, I should heat up my dinner as well. So I'm quite hungry. <clears throat> um, uh, hello, Ganthian. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Mm, I'm just them in the bank. Well, if they're in your crafting bank, like if they're in your reagent bank, then it doesn't matter because you can still use them from there anyway. I feel this is significantly faster, but is more effort. Yeah. So the other portal you reckon is better, Jack? Just because they all spawn right on your head. Too bad for my herbs last I could go to oh my god. Somebody on my stream is trying to hang out. Welcome on in. Eight hundred gold a pop is a lot. That is a significant cost. Oh, fingers crossed you make a crap load from your uh, your farming efforts. Oh, 
idea. Alright, um, so if Jas is stepping out, we're gonna have a space for someone if anyone wants to join for remote farming. Yeah, it's a bit like I'm. I've been looting after killing a fair few, but yeah. Do we want to head up the up the hill then? Especially now that we don't have the uh, the statue to rely on from Zimulk. Let's go up the hill. At least here they all spawn on your head. some gold. It's your alliance dude. No, Horde. Why do you think I'm alliance? Is it is the box <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's my canister right there. Where? Was it like near me? <laughs> I'm main horde. I've got 30 horde tunes and 20 alliance tunes, but I definitely main horde and fear this one the mage is the only one I actually like gear up or raid on or anything like that. The other ones are just for like extra mount chances, chances of trans a transmog, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Very close from the right. Oh yeah, that's light mount. That's an add-on. Mount randomizing at all that I use uh, once a month <laughs> when I'm sitting down and planning out my because I every every stream I do makeup that is uh, inspired by a mount from World of Warcraft and everyone at the start of stream has a chance to guess what mount it was inspired by and the first person to guess it correctly uh, wins a little token of gratitude usually in the form of a steam key yeah, it's fun. Uh, and so when I'm sitting down and planning out my makeup looks for the month for the next month, uh, I use Light Mount to help me like randomize my choices and stuff, like on like planning it out. So yeah, just something to make it a little easier. <laughs> Have you done much of the raid? Yeah, I've gotten uh, th three, three bosses down on normal, um, with a good amount of progress uh, on the fourth. It's a really pretty raid. Uh, I don't have like I don't I'm not part of a raiding guild or anything like that. Uh, so there's uh, a guild that Jas is part of, but isn't on this. Like we're not on the same server as they are, but because cross realm raiding is fine. Um, I jump in with them occasionally, and I jumped in with them last Wednesday, uh, and I think I'll be in with them again on this Wednesday, but we'll see. That just depends on if they have space for me, and if uh, I don't have other stuff going on with stream and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, we have two spaces in the group now, if anyone would like to join us for some Genesis Moot farming. You can type exclamation invite in chat and it'll give you a copy paste you can use to whisper me and I can invite you. Nice and easy. Uh, remember that I am Horde and that you will need to be North America slash Oceanic region to join as well. Oh, 
three. Three spaces in the group. Yesterday. Some of the normal kills. Awesome, well done. Well done. Yeah, one of the big things I really like about um, Jasta's Guild is that they're just super chill. They, they like, they're really, really casual, like, vast majority of the guilds. Like, there's, there's a core group that they're there for, like, every single raid, obviously, but there's no, like, attendance requirement, so people kind of step in and out as they need to. Uh, vast majority of the guild have kids, uh, have jobs that often run late, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I can't invite you to say, you mustn't be online. Um, so, yeah, like, it's just, it's super chill, so they're okay with me stepping in when I have the time, but if I'm busy with stuff for stream, then I, like, there's no, like, punishment for me not rocking up, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's really, like, relaxed like that, so, but they still get progress, which is really good, so, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Mm, want to join? I want you, yeah, look, I, I would love to be able to do cross-region play, but unfortunately, uh, it is what it is, we can only work with what we've got. Uh, fingers crossed for the future. Fingers crossed. I'm sure it's something that they're definitely working on, or at least have really bloody good reasons as to why we can't. Uh, okay. I still can't invite you. Uh, Uh, we have two spaces left if anyone would like to join us for the Genesis mode farm. Uh, I'm not going to be doing this for the rest of stream because that's like three body hours. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, after I get really sick and tired of this, I will probably shift tact to farming up some lattices and stuff like that. Um, so that's, uh, that's one we can do. Uh, or even skipping over to the raid area and farming up the schematic for the um, gold frog as well. Because I feel like that'll go much smoother in a group as well. Okay, yep, not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah, I should probably grab some food as well. I am quite hungry. Uh, myself just a little out of harm's way and I'll be back shortly.
Sorry, I'm back. Ugh. Yeah. shoulders. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, and I've got a second stretch as well, so we'll do that too. I've done the chair stream. Thank you so much for that, Thor. Much appreciated. Um, to kill the frogs are there, you need to kill the birds too. They drop an item. Build them out. Yeah, the raptors, yeah? They gave you the raptor lattice, I think it is. Uh, people could disable those pings if they want to, and if they're not disabling, that's on them. Yeah, and honestly, they're so non-intrusive as well. Like, I honestly don't even notice the pings when people come online or offline. When, especially when I'm doing stuff. Like, maybe if I'm AFK, I'll hear it and be like, huh. But, and quite often... Okay, keep in mind, I have 200 people on my friends list, so I get a shitload of pings. Um, <laughs> but also, uh, like, if there's a blip in the Battle.net service... There are some times when my game will like lock up for half a second and then I get like 20 pings for people going offline and then coming back online immediately because of the blip. Like it's, yeah, it's fine. Um, hello, David. Welcome back. How was your weekend? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. Busy. Busy. Of course, we had the, the six-year anniversary stream on Saturday, and then I streamed on Sunday as well, and I did all my houseworky stuff for the whole weekend on Sunday. But it was good, though. Thor, Cade, Martin, Dunno, Zam, Adam, Thurling, Loza, and Ali. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. Let's grab some tokens, shall we? The chair is a bit strange, yeah! <laughs> This is Cher. Cher is the most supportive member of the stream. Oh, I got six skills. Holy crap, that was fast. It mustn't have been killing blows. It must have just been like kills in general. Ping! Point, yeah. It's really tasty. This is a new recipe. This is, um, I think I was telling you guys about, uh, wait, hang on. Did that kill? No, just placing paladins. Okay. Um, I think I was telling you guys about how I found that AIP curry recipe. This is it. And it smelled amazing while Jas was making it. And it tastes bloody good too. It's really tasty. Really, really yummy. Um, any new mounts today? Not yet, Enyo. Not yet, but we are farming for materials to- I did get- I did unlock like a ton of the recipes to craft them. Um, and now we're farming some of the mats that's needed to craft them as well. I have 603 Genesis Motes now, out of the total of 27,000 that I need. So that's fun. Is farming for stuff nowadays. It is kind of satisfying. Just like watching a number steadily go up as you collect the bits that you need. Even when you need hundreds and hundreds of them. Thousands in this case. It's a good feeling. Now uh, we do have two spaces in this group if anyone would like to join us for Genesis Mote Farming. Uh, you can type exclamation invite. 
to get a copy paste to shoot me a whisper. Uh, and then I can invite you from there. You just need to be Horde and on the North American slash Oceanic region. And of course have access to Xerath Waters. Gaming computer for sure. For sure. Yeah, having priorities isn't. What did you end up getting for food, Jack? sandwich oh yum do you do you cut the sausages in half lengthwise so they don't roll around in the bread in the middle or do you just like deal with it <laughs> it's, very chatty. it's a chill stream today in you it's fine people like to lurk and just listen to what's going on that's totally reasonable one of those especially if it's from bunnings they're just they're somehow better aren't they b Somehow better. Is this Scottish sausage? Oh! What is that? <laughs> what does that mean? Sausage cornered upon you and it rents any rolling for me. Square sausage. Ah! So, like. So, like sausage meat as in like ground meat um that's like made into a patty kind of thing yeah okay that makes more sense that's the c20 joint 
See, when I when I think a sausage sandwich, I think of snags, like like sausages, as in like sausage and bread, but not in a folded thing. Like that's that's sausage and bread. That's not a sandwich. A sandwich is like bread and bread together. So like putting like getting a a sausage and cutting it in half lengthways so that it covers more bread, and then like sometimes even cutting it in half and then putting like so that you've got meat in every bite sort of thing. That was what I was thinking as a sausage sandwich. <clears throat> hmm. Sausage sandwich 101. Look, I, I try to be semi educational. In three slices, so there's more. Awesome. It's not a bad idea at all. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm over here like, I have delicious clear soup for my stomach. Anything heavier, kill for a sandwich. Soon, Lucky. You'll be better soon. But clear soup is a really good idea. Take care of your body now so that you can have sausage later. Because if you try having it too soon, you'll set yourself back. You'll set your recovery back, and that's never good. Guess what I'm going to be having next week? Fucking soup. I'm not looking forward to it. I just, god, it was such a, like, last time, like, for my first surgery and I couldn't have anything but soup. By the end of it, I was just, I was in tears because I wanted to eat something with texture. I, I, I kid you not, like, I had an actual breakdown with tears because I wanted to be able to chew. It just, god, it really, it was so much harder than I thought it'd be. Um, but hopefully this time round will be quicker recovery because it's less invasive, like, less invasive surgery. I mean, it's still, obviously, it's still jaw surgery, but, um... Ah! Bubble tea! Peach and grape? Hi, the sun well. Hello, buddy. Hmm? Hmm? That's really good. Grad, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Um, lovely weekend. Daughter ones, Tara, the bird. Try Friday. Hey, one of the first 200 to complete the treasure hunt. Yay! You've been a heart's tea pot with Alice. Aw, oh, that sounds like a beautiful time. Yay! Consider sausages, mints, and bits in a casing. If you're loose with the recognition, you could say a hamburger is a sausage sandwich. Yeah. You could. I think, personally, for me, though, um, sausage is a far finer grind of meat. Like, it's mince, but it's, it's like, you know, you know when you cook mince and it's crumbly? But sausages don't get crumbly. They're like a solid piece of processed meat. Does that... So, like, when you, when you bite into a burger, there's more texture than you, when you bite into a sausage? That might, me just, that might be me just being pedantic, but that's kind of where I draw the line in my mind, is the actual texture of the meat involved. But you absolutely could, you're right. You absolutely could. Uh, if he's back on the soup, not yet. Monday. So, challenge for stream. Soup recipes. Um, as much as I would love to just do a massive big batch of slow cooker soup and be done with it, I am going to scream if I have to eat the same soup non-stop for a week. Uh, and my body will probably scream as well because, you know, the more varied your diet, the, the more, you know, the different nutrients and stuff that you're getting. So I would prefer to be able to have different soups. So if you have recipes for small batch soup, small batch soup, please drop them in the food channel in Discord. Because God knows I'm going to need them. I will probably purchase a couple of prepackaged soups from, like, um, bullies and stuff just because um just doesn't like that's it's not fair for just to have to have soup all the time as well so it'll be a lot easier if he can just kind of toss it like especially in those first couple of days when i'm just out of it totally he can you know grab a pack of soup out of the fridge stick it in the microwave uh come wake me up and hand me a pot you know like <laughs> um a lot easier for him because i'm gonna be incapable of cooking for a few days 
Uh, but for once I'm once I'm up and about, but still not really capable of chewing so well, I would love a couple recipes. Um, did you complete the cipher console? All tears. Yes. Why the dot dot dot? <laughs> um, super speakers and super recipes. You guys need to help. Like, come on. I need I need them recipes. Preferably small batch if you've got them, but big batch is okay too. I can always freeze some and we can have it later. And if I'm really like just done with the whole concept of soup, I can use it as like a pasta sauce <laughs> or put it on top of rice. Cook it down a little more, make it thicker and put it on rice. Mm. Oh, no mage tower point gold tonight. Oh shit. Yeah, right. I didn't do that, did I? Oops. <laughs> Uh, I have been so busy. Like, it is on my to-do list. Like, in, in Asana, it's on my to-do list every Monday to update the point goal. But I haven't opened Asana today. Because I got up, I went to the dentist, I came home, and I slept. My alarm went off to get ready for stream. I got up, I got ready for stream, and I streamed. So I haven't opened Asana today, which is what, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Fuck, I'm a noob. I'm so sorry. Give me a minute, and we will we will do that. that. So if that's out of by by six hour by that by 12, 18, 24. Alright, cool. I'm going to knock some off because we've missed part of stream. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Another really annoying thing that, um, challenges, you can only have two of them sitting ready to go. Started. Uh, and I can f mark Shaw Farm as complete. Scheduled. Ah, uh, there we go. So don't have four weeks surgery. They can be on again. I was at the hospital. Legit cried over texture too. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Like when you're that vulnerable, like what what does it? What pushes you over the edge? You know. Also, that's okay. Why don't we change things up? Why don't we head across to the raid? And try to get. Do you ha have you farmed up the the mount schematic over there? <clears throat> so I'm thinking I'll head over here, farm up that schematic, the gold plate buffeted, uh, and there's also uh, raptor lattices over there as. Well. Oh, oh, you can get it to drop from here as well. Interesting. How quickly do they respawn here? Oh, you got gold frog ready? Alright, never mind. All good. I didn't realize they also spawned here. I wonder how quickly they respawn. Uh, I remember a soup that was two guys. Soup add two guys in typical central Australian pub arguing over what to use for eating soup. A spoon or fork from Renekai in. It says straw. I do not remember that. Who the fuck eats soup with a fork? How do you eat soup with a fork? So fishing lol fair. Got you, that makes total sense. Oh well there you go. Never mind. No longer farming that, that's done. Ah uh, <laughs> Jesus. Um Ineffable Skitterer. 
He's, oh, that's the dead one in Furim's cave. So let's maybe go get that. Absolutely right, much differing grind. Oh, the meat! Um, I thought you were talking about grinding for drops. Um, God, they're in fuck English. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, that's that's how I feel about it, but I, I totally understand differing opinions, and there's, like, nothing wrong with that. Um, okay, that's chunky. Oh, it was a straw ad. Okay, okay, I can understand eating that with a fork, but you'd still need a spoon for, like, the last little bit, wouldn't you? I don't know, that's... Great super as it is, we put in Discord. Yes, please do. There is a food channel. Drop them all. Do the thing. Maybe a few like episodes. I don't know it's called that. It's amazing. It looks like it might belong to a Drake. No. Would you like me to tell you? It has been guessed. Would you like me to tell you, Seeker, or would you like to to have a, an attempt at guessing yourself? Even though there's nothing up for grabs. What's going on? Are you sick? Uh, no. I had surgery in October for. Um, uh, extraction of a tooth and they put a bone graft in and so for the last four or five months I've been growing bone I've been growing a new bone um, and it's done, it's grown it's it's ready to go and so now I'm going in in a week, next Monday I'm going in for surgery number two uh, and they're putting the implant into the newly grown bone <laughs> newly grown bone alright so I'm supposed to I need to be dead um to get this one. So let's let's do that. <clears throat> I recently restocked tin soup to do certain events going on in the world. Yeah. Yeah, tin soup is honestly like you can just you can have soup but you can also use it as an ingredient in other stuff as well. It's really versatile. It's really, really good. Go on. Dig through my recipe notes. So to be honest, I mostly just use the same few recipes. Any particular dietary requirements can remove the ones that don't fit. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much. I technically yes, uh, but none of them are like allergies or um, like I'm not vegetarian or I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Like it's nothing too big. Uh, once the surgery's done, uh, I have been moving towards the autoimmune protocol diet uh, again. And once, uh, once the surgery is sort of done and I can move back to solid foods, I'm going to be doing much more into the into the AIP food. Um, but as as for soup, right after recovery, I just need I just need food that's yummy, that's gonna like make me not cry. <laughs> um, I will be eating chocolate mousse. I will be eating custard. I will be eating Jello uh, or jelly, as we call it here. Um, I I will be eating. Uh, marshmallows! Oh my god, Jas, we need to get a giant party-sized family pack si bag of, of marshmallows because god, they were so good last time. Um, but yeah, I, I'll be eating so much, like, just, just soul food. Um, so yeah, anything, anything good. Anything good will be good. <clears throat> Ghost spider! Go. Adapted Raptora. It's an interesting. Good. Excuse me. Uh, when I was only able to have soup tofu, I made red lentil curry, blended it, added more coconut milk to make it thin. It was great for a different flavor. That sounds really, really good. And lentils are so cheap too. Like, oh god amazing and add a bit of bulk too because they like you know they they, f they actually fill you up because that's the problem with soup is that it's mostly just liquid and you just you pee it out so bloody quickly i never i never truly feel full when i'm eating nothing but soup which kind of you know mm. oh, a lot of red lentils lots of grama salad turmeric etc goes well on the sandwich too oh that sounds delicious it sounds tasty my only concern with things that head towards the warmer side of the spectrum I wouldn't put chili in anything because I'm gonna have an open wound in my mouth, literally, with stitches in my gum. So I feel like putting, as an example, 
chili paste in my mouth is going to result in a really unpleasant experience. <laughs> like, the only way, the only reason I mention that is because we are going down like a curry path. Obviously, curry can be exceptionally mild. Obviously. Uh, but just before people start suggesting things that are a little bit warmer, keep in mind, I'm going to have stitches in my face. Inside. Uh... <laughs> Uh, with difficulty, soup fork. I know, right? Maybe a spork. A spork could work. Slowly. It's stew and bad. Who drink out of the bowl? Yeah, okay, I guess. Question. Capsicum. Dislike. Is it a flavor or texture or both? It is mostly flavor. The texture isn't super great, but there are other things that have a similar texture that I'm fine with. So I think it's mostly the taste. If I could, like, um, uh, roasted, like, roasted red capsicum that gets really, like, sticky sweet and stuff, it's the peppery taste that I don't like. It's, it's that bright, kind of, yeah. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, <clears throat> but, like, when, when a red capsicum has been roasted to within an inch of its life, like, it's, like, it's, like super squishy and all that kind of stuff, if, especially if it doesn't have the skin, because um, the skin I find has a kind of astringent sort of flavor to it as well. Um, uh, but yeah, it's a uh, if it's if it's not the main flavor, I'm also good with that as well. Like if it's capsicum soup, probs not. Like red capsicum dip, I'm not a big fan of either. Uh, but if it's if it's an ingredient, if it's part of something and it's like especially if it's blended up in a soup, it's not too bad. But yeah, it's um I usually just avoid it because it's easier to just avoid it. <clears throat> uh, capsicum is bell peppers, for those of you who are going, what the hell is she talking about? Um mm, with the number. I got back to giving kids to you, I guess. It's a Drake. Oh, no, it's not a Drake. It's not a Drake. Um, and I was asking if you would like me to tell you what the mount was, or if you would prefer to have a game of it, even though there's nothing up for grabs. Entirely up to you, though. Uh, and it was guest, yes. Me too, going for new teeth on Wednesday. Ah, congrats, crud. Best of luck. Best of luck. Never seen a jellyfish mount before. I've got a couple full. I've got a couple. Um, so there's this one, obviously. There's the pond nettle, which is gorgeous. There's the, uh, what's the brain looking one? The hive mind, which is essentially a jellyfish. It's just got a brain on top. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there are, there are a few of them and they're super cool. Hey, welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. The most amazing timing. They do. They do. Uh, is Italian ice not a thing? I think you call it gelato there. Yeah, gelato's a thing. Um, it usually just isn't, like, when it comes in a tub, when you bring it home, it's it can get a bit hard. Obviously, you can just you suck on it and it melts and stuff. Um, but yeah, gelato, ice cream, all that kind of fun stuff as well. Good. Um... Uh, yeah, no, no, there's, we've got link protection enabled here, but you can drop it in Discord if you'd like. Um, I'm not sure if you've joined it yet, but you're very welcome to do so if you'd like, and, uh, and you can drop it in there if you want. Wheat Bix after my transplant operation. Interesting, you had a craving for Wheat Bix. That's so curious. Um, kill a vegetable soup recipe. Ooh, first one I ever did while making. Pop that into the Discord. Yes, please do. Please do. I have got a, um, I've got a, uh, veggie soup, actually. I've got a vegetable soup recipe from my grandfather, uh, that they pulled out of a magazine many, many moons ago. No, no, not a magazine. I'm so sorry. They got it from when they bought one of their first microwaves. 
and it was a microwave soup recipe. Um, cook, all the cooking is done in the microwave. Uh, you know, back when it was advertised as, you know, a way to retain the nutrients and all that kind of stuff rather than just a reheating appliance. Uh, and in the in the instruction booklet that they got for the, for the uh, microwave, it had a recipe in there. And they used to make big batches of it, like big, big batches of it. And um, it, like, when we were younger, we'd go over there and they would serve up bowls of it. And it was just so delicious. It's not particularly healthy. It's got a whole lot of butter and stuff in it, it but it's delicious because it's got a whole lot of butter in it. Hi, the sun um, well. <laughs> Crud, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Oh, my God. Hi, the Sunwell. What's that? Sure. Oh, there's an achievement for this, isn't there? With the forge tap. Thank Hi, you so much Sunwell. for the gifted subs. My goodness. Um. Congratulations to everyone who got caught in the sub bomb. Uh, but yeah, so it's like you. There's a whole ton of Hi, vegetables that you dice up really, really small, like really, really small, and then you have like a bunch of stock and a little bit of flour. Um, and a ton of butter, and then it, and then you whack oh, it all in a, in a microwave-safe container, and you stick it in the microwave for like eighteen minutes, and it, like, it tastes like childhood. And there was one point uh, a little while back that I was feeling a little like homesick, and it's because I all my family live in Victoria. I moved out right before I turned eighteen, and um, I haven't moved back yet, and I'm now thirty-two, so it's been a long time, and um, my grandmother has unfortunately passed away. It's the, the, the couple that I'm talking about. And um, and I was just, I was missing her and I was feeling a bit homesick and all that kind of stuff. So I, um, I, I messaged my grandfather on Facebook Messenger and asked him if he had a copy of the recipe that he could send me. And he did, like almost instantly. Uh, and so I, I made it and it, last, it lasted us a while because it was a decent amount of, decent number of servings and gosh, it was just so tasty. And it made me, like it just it tastes like home so yeah maybe i'll post that one in the discord as well and it's like it's a, literally a microwave recipe so as long as you have a microwave anyway i'm sure you could probably do it on the stove i don't think it'd be the same <laughs> you know it just when things are a little bit different Uh, okay. Um, makes you tasty fish parts, crustaceans in the broth, can even blend down prawn meat. That sounds good. I love protein banana smoothies, filling in ice cold and yum. Ooh! That's not a bad idea, maybe getting some like protein powder or something from, uh, from Woolies. Just a little pack. And, uh... Get some extra nutrients in there. Is never in my food dials quite well. It is, yeah, it is. And that's why I said, like, I know, I know, I know curries can be at, at, like, this is a curry, and there's no heat in here whatsoever. Um, but I thought I should probably just clarify why I wanted soup so people had some more, like, context. Uh, pastina pasta, the tiny stars. Have it with some butter and salt and parmesan cheese. Ooh, <gasps> mm, that sounds really good, full. Mm. Oh, and risoni. You know, like the little, little, yeah, risoni. Oh, they're good. I love putting risoni in soup, especially in like slow cooker soups, because it soaks up some of the liquid and just bulks it up, but it's just so tasty. <clears throat> Is this just me as roasted capsicum and tomato soup? Ah, so maybe not. Yeah, I do love tomato soup. I love tomato soup, but what I'd probably do is put some uh, beef mints in the tomato soup and then blend that up a bit. It won't make it completely gone. Like it won't liquefy the beef. Uh, but the beef mints will break up really, really tiny, so there'll be nothing to chew. But it's so tasty. Beef and tomato is just the best blend. Like, oh, and melt some cheese. I like cheese. It's like a liquefied Subway meatball sub without the bread. Because I can't chew on bread. <laughs> Neke, Dano, Alliance, Adam, Koala, Martin, Ali, Cade. Congratulations to all of you on... Your bonus shit. I hope you all got some fantastic tokens. We're gonna head on to the boss chest. 
Would love to be told, please. I am sorry. I'm like so far behind on chat. Infernal direwolf. There's dark green around the outside, the little spot of brown in here for the saddle, and then like the acid green because of, like the tips of the tufts of fur. Um, um, I don't know what cap. Oh, capsicum. So cap C, capsicum. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh, this one. <clears throat> Yeah, like with bell peppers is a dip that has sweet potato, cashews, and red pepper. Ah, oh, is that a red rock one? Because I think I've, there's a sweet potato and cashew dip that I that I can get locally. That's um, it's not it's not a local brand, but it's so good. Holy God, it's one of my favorite dips. It's so tasty. <clears throat> so what am I actually supposed to be doing with this? Hollow efforts. Near remotes collected. Shut Oh, am I still in a raid group? I am. <laughs> Convert to party. I'm a numpty. Good. I'm like, why am I not making any progress? Good, good, yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ah, now they're all here. Ah. Oh, that's, uh, oh. My. I don't have that one, but yeah, it's uh, trippy looking. <laughs> there are a couple of them with the similar kind of model now. Hey, they're very cool. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, crud, it was leaving. Thank you again so much for the bomb. I hope you're having a fantastic evening and we'll see you next time. Good morning, fight. Good morning. So generous indeed. Mama's many soup recipes. Okay, she's so sitting in the old pressure cooker freezer that left. Yeah, soup is amazing. You literally... Like the number of times that I've cleaned out my pantry and the like the vegetable crisper in the in the fridge, and like you just grab everything. <clears throat> you you like any any veggies that are like getting towards the end of their life, any like random single cubes of stock powder that happen to be lying around. Like any kind of like sample sachets of, of stuff that you've gotten from whatever, like you toss it all in the pot. Like it's just soup is so good for using up stuff. It's great. <clears throat> uh, multiple cheese got asked if you're in for it a few times. Okay. Soup's so good. Going to make it with smoked bacon, hock, or homemade chicken broth. Oh, yum. That sounds really tasty. Just the figures of that story, love good feeling for recipe. Yeah, kind of story always makes the food taste better. I agree. I agree. Um, that's okay, fool. Um, I've I've been playing uh, in in fifteen years. I've had one six month break, and one eight month break, and then there have been times where I've played like once a week for a few months, and then there are other times where I've played every day, like at the moment. Um, but it kind of you know it, it oscillates back and forth a bit, but no, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself, so I can't see myself shuffling things up anytime too soon. So homesick is one of us. Just learn a new word. There you go. There you go. Great potato leek recipe, quite filling too, because the potatoes, of course. Potatoes, oh, potatoes are just fantastic, aren't they? From Germany, Wanderlust is actually a German word. Interesting. So is, is Wander a German, like, to go, to go for a Wander? Is that German and then Lust? being like you know the one of the seven sins seven deadly sins are they both german words as well super, super great and filling indeed chicken sweet corn yum my husband only married me so made the best toast cheese sandwiches and tomato yes tomato soup for dunking agreed agreed <clears throat> soup for Sunday lunch most of the year. It was so good. Yes. That's the thing. Like, if it's one one meal a week is soup, that's that's okay. That's fine. When you're having to eat nothing but soup, you want to make people into soup. Ooh! You want to make people into soup. Like, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Have some sleep. Rest well, Jack. We'll see you next time. You have a fantastic evening. And I have finally caught up on chat. Good. Okay. 
Okay. Well, Vexus is up today. Evidently. Giant shakes. Ah, uh, yeah. Depending on the program you're on, um, some of them, like some of the shake ones, do have soups and stuff as well. <clears throat> like soup mixes that are so it's like a it's like a shake mix. It's just savory. <laughs> back when I was broke AF and I was surviving on some uh, like back in like uh, start middle middle ish of uni, where I was having a bit of struggles with with cashola and stuff. Um, when uni was too full on for me to have a job, but Centrelink was just nothing. Um, I ended up getting. Um, like those kind of, you know, the, the home brand diet shakes and stuff like that, just because they were like, they were not a complete diet, but they were close enough that I could have one super cheap meal a day to cover the stuff I was missing and I wouldn't be too, too, too unhealthy. Um, cause you know, I mean, they're, they're a fair bit more nutritious than, um, uh, than ramen three meals a day, you know? Like packet ramen. <clears throat> I feel like I need to do a stream of uh, achievement hunting for ZM. Just like clear out the battle pets and clear out the some of the easier to grab achievements and stuff like that. <clears throat> so oh no, really? <gasps> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm feeling you. Yeah. Always have turkey soup boxing day with leftover meat, homemade bread, nicely buttered. Brilliant. Sounds delicious. Fruit of the Bloom is down south. Ooh, that's an appearance I don't have. I should. I know it's not Mount Farming, but I should do it anyway. I mean, I'll get Genesis smokes while I'm doing it, so it's fine, right? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Turn these into frame. One of the last moves means I don't want to go away. Hiking. Yeah, I know what wanderlust means. Um, it, it's it's a lust and need to, to go wandering. Like it, it makes sense. It's in the word. Um, but like wanderlust is a. It's a. Oh, fuck, what's the word for when you merge two words? I don't remember. But yeah, like it. Yeah, that's why I was asking if if wanderlust is a German word. Does that mean that the word wonder and the word lust are also both German words? Because hello. They are both words in English as well, but I know that English is also very good at borrowing you can never words research too much. <laughs> from other languages. <clears throat> How long have I got on this? One day, eight hours. Just about 85. 85 that I can spend. Fantastic. Congrats. I've had deviled sausages. It's a meal for curried sausages, but they're good too. Curried sausages are awesome. I don't think I've had deviled sausages. I had deviled eggs. They're amazing. <clears throat> you have an alliance ice wizard. 56 so far. At any point, should the scenes can't find any way how to get the numbers to show up in enemy health bars instead of the top left? Add ons. Uh, dwelling Insomniac, that's add-ons. Uh, you can't do that in settings. You have to do it with, with add-ons. Um, like the way that I've got them above here, like that. Um, I personally use LVI, E-L-V-U-I. 
um, to, to do that. Uh, but there are plenty of add-ons out there that do it. You've just got to kind of pick the one that is the best for you. Um, do you... Ice Wizard, do you mean Frost Mage? <laughs> do you mean Frost Mage? Uh, it might be a, a language thing. I'm not too sure if it's like a, a translation-y doobawacky or something. Uh, but that made me giggle a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's, that's add-ons. Uh, if you type exclamation add-ons into chat, you'll get a list of all the ones that I use and links to where you can download them and LVY is in that list. Uh, that might make it easier for you. But welcome on in. I hope you're having an awesome day. I vouch for Kickstart Shake Soups if you have to do any meal replacements. Taste loads better than Op OptiFast OptiSlim. Oh, good. Awesome. Uh, I think Battle Pet System is more like grown-up Pokemon. I usually pick Hunter. I just really love teaming up with animals and collecting rares. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, and yeah, Battle Battle Pets is definitely similar to Pokemon. Um, a little more restricted. Not as... Uh, because it's just... Because it's like a side part of a, of a rather large game. Um... Battle Pets is, is a far more simplified version, uh, in my opinion. Uh, look into them. Dr. Wayne used Optifast is apparently a full meal replacement, but I read up. Yeah, some brands aren't. Some brands are just, like, calorie controlled, but then there are other brands that have all of the actual vitamins and minerals that you need, uh, and so they're, yeah, much, much safer in terms of using just purely those. Um, but... As always, if your medical professional is advising that you use a specific brand, probably a good idea to stick with them, like with that brand. However, that being said, oh, this one, I hate this one. Uh, that being said, finding something that you think might work and taking that to your medical professional and saying, hey, you said I had to use this one because of this reason. This one also seems fulfill to fulfill that condition. Can I use this one as well or instead? Because, I mean, hey, variety is good, right? The more brands you have that you can use, the more the, like, the better variety you're going to have. It's alive. It looks so different to mine. I like it. Yep, that's because of add-ons. It's all add-ons. 100%. Only recommend it because the dietitian in my clinic put me up to it. Slimmer also alternatives. So I suggest them. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> ah, thank you guys. Yeah, there's the uh, there's the list of add-ons for you. My highest character is a Kirby Hunter, and I love her. Good, brilliant. Well, right is a spice life. Exactly. Exactly. That hit a little harder. Uh, it is. All right, yeah, you already said that. Um, I am a little. I get a little bit behind on chat because I respond to every message. Like I actually interact with each message individually, so I do get a little bit behind. Uh, but you do not need to repeat yourself. Um. Yeah. Uh, I completely understand. Lost a lot of my shakes. Excuse myself to work on that genuine chronic pain. Yes. Good luck and stick with it. Exactly. Absolutely. Dungeons and Dragons, totally fine. It was called Ice Wizard now, <laughs> sounds way cooler. <laughs> it's because of the Z. It's because of the Z. Somehow they just make everything sound cooler. At least to me. Hello, Tiniest. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um. Some to stick with it? Yes, for sure. I love this brilliant hood ice was in my brain auto-translated it as Ice King. Slightly different, but hey, same, same. Close enough. Uh, so stupid. No, don't. Don't. It's fine. Changing up games can be, like, hella confusing at the best of times. And the point of language is to be able to communicate with each other, and you communicated effectively. We knew what you meant, and that is what matters. And now you've learned something. We're all good. Um, also X, yeah. Yep. Yeah. X also makes 
words sound cooler. Brain. Isn't it weird? Our brains are so freaking strange. Like, what the hell? Uh, yep, I'm in Las Vegas. Ah, we're going to occupy it with Twitch. Sounds like a plan. Well, I hope you enjoy your time here. And Chris, thank you so much for the resub. Three months. Enjoy your new sub badge. Supposed to be doing well? Of course. Of course. I hope that work is, even if it's slow, I hope that it's treating you kindly. There is no place the most one can hide. New appearance. Woo. All right. Um, cool. What's that? <laughs> oh, bugger. I keep missing Jitali. Every time it spawns, I just, I keep missing it. Um, right. Drop from a more spawn Hulk mob. 45 minutes of farming in a five man group. Mine was the first to drop. No idea how long it took the others. Hulk mob. Oh god, okay, yeah, so they're up the top. They're the big chainy, towery looking dudes. Ugh, okay. Uh, pale, regal, so that's from the, um, this, isn't it? Yep, okay, that's fine. Prototype Leaper. Ah, uh, how's the new air purifier doing? I so want to get one. It is good. Like, it is, it is really good. It doesn't seem to be helping my, um, my sinus is too much, unfortunately. Um, but the air just smells cleaner. It smells better, um, and it also it also works kind of like a fan, so it cools the room down as well, which is really nice. Because I think it's more, far more power effective than uh, more power efficient than the um, the air conditioning is. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite nice. And it's got a sleep mode as well, where it keeps working, but like turns the fan down so that it doesn't, so it's not as loud. It's kind of funky. I like it a lot. I can just search how everywhere works. It takes a little while to set it all up, but it's worth it. Uh, because you can have everything exactly how you want it. Uh, so if you take the time, like you can, there are, uh, there are like, defaults that you can Im like download and import from other people where they've like made their own thing and then you can like get their UI sort of thing uh, but then you can tweak literally everything so as you're as you're playing and you go hmm I don't like where that is you can just open LVY up and move it to where you think you're gonna like it better and then just keep going uh, so it's yeah you can constantly tweak it uh, which is really good <clears throat> total driver slow nights equals less crashes which is a good thing agreed agreed we, we like not having crashes. Good. It's amazing, customizable, down to smallest details. It is, it's phenomenal. It does take a bit of work to get it, to get it going the first time. Like don't, <laughs> it it takes a bit to, to set it all up the first time, but it is worth it. It is worth it. So many people have told me that, oh yeah, I installed LVY and like, you know, after, after 45 minutes of tweaking things, I was just like, bugger this. And I gave up and stopped and uninstalled it. And then, Two years later, I've come back. I'm like, no, I need to put the time in just because of how awesome it is. So yeah, it's uh, it does take a little bit, but it, it is worth it. It's worth it. You're having a nosebleed? Oh no, lucky! You yeah, go take care of yourself. So it's quite overwhelming. I watch YouTube vid and see. Yeah, for sure. That has good points. Bugger, help your sinus as much as we hope. Yeah, but hey, you know what? It is a good thing because when I next speak to my GP and say, hey. My sinuses are still screwed. I want to re I want to do some more digging into what's going on here. I can add air like we get a cross air purifier off the list. I've already tried it. It didn't it didn't work. Like it it honestly it probably has helped a bit, but it didn't fix it entirely. It's still it's still an issue. So yeah, like it's it's good. It's good. 
Maybe I set up more than my mom used to rearrange the furniture. Oh dear, my mom never used to rearrange the furniture. We had it. She had it just how she wanted it. And then that's the way it stayed. It was great. I love the jellyfish man. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's just so gorgeous. Anyone actually here? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so these guys, these are the ones who drop the mount uh, schematic that I was looking at. While I'm here, might as well turn in all the schematics I've been putting up. Oh, I've only got two. Might as well turn them in. Um. Apart from tweaking the frames, I've the basic setup more than enough. GP, general practitioner. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think. The primary care or so I can't I can't remember exactly. It's like the first doctor that you go to when when you're having issues. It's, they're not a specialist. They do all the things. You go to them to get like a, a note a sick note for work and all that kind of stuff. Like it's yeah, that that's your GP. I remember the fishing bought the group to make the lure. Well done, Red. Well done. Uh, I was like 150k on my server. I was like, nah, fuck that. I can fish it. It's fine. Hmm. We're mm. having good then. Oh, that's awesome news. I'm glad you're feeling better. Mm. We are late start. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Zika. That's entirely on me. <clears throat> so do I actually have... So if I get a lupine lattice, I can make a mount. I have nothing else. Good. Good. I've just put in the gold plate buffener, didn't I? Yeah, it's there. Why is it still in this list? I'm so confused. What is this tracking? Count on you to remind me for sure. 62,500 today. I mean, yeah, Dr. Press, yeah. You know, doctors give me anxiety or no. Um, you need to apologize if you push from this right community of yours. Uh, look, it's been a day. It's, it's been a day. Um. Yep, to craft. No, because I haven't got 12 of them. I've made two. <laughs> no, I haven't even made, I've made one. I've made the Death Runner. That's it. So I haven't made anything. Like I, it was, it was, because 
at one point, before I got those extra ones, that was a list of everything I didn't have. And now it's wrong. Mm. Wednesday, mm. well, fingers crossed for you, Nutty. That's just a mistake. I wonder if it's just having a bit of a tricky time, like, getting the info properly. So I made a mistake. Mm. And I refreshed it like a bunch of times, but maybe it's just having trouble like reading the data from the server or something. I don't know. That's why I thought maybe a reload would do it. Mmm. Buzz pat now to two after 22 tries. I only found one pulp covered relic. Um, like only one of them was spawned, and then I checked all the spawn points again, and there wasn't another one. So like how often do they respawn? Oh! Once daily, got it. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> there we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, so there we go. So under protoform synthesis, you've got a section for all the recipes and then a section for the actual crafting. Um, so that's good. Um, so I'll close off the crafting. So. Uh, the bronze hilicid, hilicid, whatever, is from the patterns within patterns. It's from the weekly. The bronze wing Vespoid is from the one up in the cosmic power area that I'm not sure if I can actually do yet or not. Um, Buzz is from the stuff, the the pulp covered crap. Um, the curious the curious crystal sniffer was the one from the raid. No, wait. Yeah, Kipu and LFR. Kill Holondris, go back to the second room. So yep, yeah, that's from uh, that's from the raid. Uh, the more adapted Raptora is the one that drops from the big tall towery guys up here. <clears throat> the pale regal serpent is from unlocking everything at the um, cipher of the first one's console duva. Uh, the prototype leaper is the tab that I had open here. <clears throat> Forgotten proto vault in which schematic prototype leaper can be found is only visible when Froggit is up. Okay, so that's the Froggit one. Uh, so I can't get that because Froggit isn't up. It's up in here. Yep. Uh, Russet Buffinid. Okay. <clears throat> Mm. Ah, well done, Apathy! Well done. Do you do any Mythic Plus keys? Occasionally. Uh, not often on stream. Uh, yes. Oh, emote only mode. We can do that. Is only from Enlightened Prayer and Cage. Yep. Um. Which is this one, the Russet Buffinid, is the one that comes from uh, from this here. Uh, from the Paragon Cache. It'll take a little while, just a while. We'll go bananas with emotes, indeed, let me do that. Boop, there you go. Enjoy, have fun. And let's get through some redemptions while you are. Show me your pretty pictures. When you use them in chat, they will bounce across the stream, the screen as well. So like, show everyone your pretty pictures. Uh, chat done. Stretch. I do have that for this screen as well, don't I? I do good. Oh, my neck went crack. Oh, 
Let's check. <laughs> <clears throat> Delicious. Alright, and then Serenade seems to be in the raid as well. Located in a chain underneath a floating platform in the Immortal Half area of the raid. And then there is Unsuccessful Prototype Fleet Pod. Last one on the list. Where do you come from? <clears throat> One of the Locust Shift treasure rooms. Ah, oh, you have to do a means to the end to an end. Accessible by flying. Or via the Ultimus Locus. Rose. Ah, oh, okay. Why do you need need means to an end if you don't need to actually fly there we go you can use your words again oh excuse me Neke, Zam, Rel, Alliance, Martin, Ali, Thor, Dunno, and Draz congratulations on to all of you on your bonus ship who's behind the story Find the story. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because I've been fi I've got most. I've got almost all of the um the locus the loci for that area. That's why like I've I've got that. So why why do I need to do the story? It was a little bit <clears throat> right, have some buffs with my flag bearer. Oh, the place is special once weekly loot. Oh, okay, cool. Not dead. Hey, fantastic. Killer headache. Yeah, I can imagine. Be careful, yeah. Chris gives you unlock until after chapter six. Okay. Some streams to see what you see. Yeah, totally fine. Oh, and you're very welcome, Lucky. You're very, very lucky. You're very, very lucky. God damn, that's your name. You're very, very welcome, Lucky. <laughs> I'm good at this.
Okay, so I'm obviously very not good at this. Alright. This is, I th unless I go and do the raid, this is the last, and I don't really want to go through Lafar right now. Um, this will be the last recipe schematic that I can actually get today. And then I can look at maybe farming a couple of lati. I know if I get a lupine lettuce, then I can make the heart bond lupine. Everything else I need two bits and then more moats. <laughs> so I think if I'm going to be able to craft anything, it's going to be woofy. That's like what I'm closest to at the moment. Not indeed. Rest well. Take care of yourself. that before. <laughs> How the hell did I miss that? Um, Let's go turn in this uh, last recipe, and that's that's all I can do today, I reckon. And then uh, we can start farming the bits. So, yeah, absolutely. It's just so pretty and I, like I'm so glad that it actually happened you know eight hours and 15 minutes of fishing sure I mean I was very distracted though we had battles we had giveaways like I was incredibly distracted but I got it you know like it's still yeah it made me quite happy Some farming going. Uh, well, I've got this is the 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 um, recipe. The schematic I'm about to turn in is the last one that I can actually get for today, uh, which is good. So I've done a lot of progress with actually farming, well, not farming, but going and getting all of those. Uh, and now I just need to farm up materials. bugged out again. Uh, that's right. So uh, what I need is a lupine lattice. Because I don't have any of the other bits. I could have sworn I had another lattice, but it must be for a pet.
This one I have the crystallized echo of the first song, but when it is the lupine lattice. I'm getting it, yeah. It isn't behind any bosses. No, it's not behind any bosses. But it's um uh located in a chain underneath a floating platform in the immortal hearth area of the raid. I don't know if I can go in there by myself and go get it or if there's gonna be mobs in my way. Um <clears throat> can. Oh, okay. Down to the ground where the frogs are, run to the left, run left to the back, is between the chains under the platform. Oh, okay, cool. In that case. some puppos. Nothing you can't invis past. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Let's go grab that one then. I might as well get everything I can, right? That's awesome. And then we'll start. We'll go kill some wolves and hope that I get the, the lupine ladders. You should have a lookout. Mm. But they're in there at the moment, raiding. They're in that lockout. Unless that's not how it works anymore, I don't remember. <clears throat> mm. Is that still how it works? I remember, like, if people were in your lockout, you wouldn't be able to get in if it was full. Um... I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> we're gonna find out. So I couldn't tell you, Blue Mythic, there's no lockouts. There is. You get loot locked. And you have a lockout to say that you've killed the first three bosses so you don't have to kill them again. You can zone into somebody else's lockout if they have everything up and then you're loot locked for those bosses, but you absolutely still have a lockout. It is your raid ID. There is absolutely IDs. These are your raid IDs. But you can't, so what you're saying is like, if I zone in now, I'm not gonna zone into their raid, is what we're kind of trying to do. And that's, yeah, that's totally fine. Um, not that the difficulty really matters, but it's fine. <clears throat> not work anymore. Oh, I must be in a raid group. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm in a raid group, let me in. I am in a raid group. Oh, why did it not convert to raid? Is somebody in here? Maybe I need some. That's really silly. It is. What? Oh, yeah, no, no, they can't do that, no. Why? Must be in a raid group to enter this location. I mean, I'm trying to be in a raid group, but it's not letting me. Who's bored that I can invite? You don't need to join me, um, but you will need to be in a raid group, which means that world quests and stuff won't, um, won't complete. Oh, cool. Do you 
want to shoot me a whisper and we can i do have those two friend requests but my list is full um so i'll need to that the after stream <laughs> we'll do awesome letting in of course take your time not like you can do anything about it you can't hurry it up If I want to go in and have my ass handed to me by a raid mob as a single person at current content, I should be allowed to. get murdered if we want. Exactly. to the ground where the frogs are. Frogs there. Oh, it's there. Okay, I see. <clears throat> this is such a beautiful raid. Such a beautiful zone. Probably no frogs because I've already killed the boss, right? Between the chains under the platform. Not very good at seeing things. Really. <laughs> you said, Booker, are getting you in that? Um, yes, I'm gonna go solo the jailer. Yeah. <laughs> Say where it was. Yeah, don't don't worry about like uh, like borderline backseat gaming. Let me find it. If I'm an umpty, like I will ask if I genuinely say, hey guys, where is it? Can anyone see it? Then then that's your cue to be like, it's there. But apart from that, let me let me figure it out myself. Far more rewarding when I do. Um shouldn't take long nap. Should be but the jailer solo. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It'll be great, it'll be fine. Everything is awesome. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> okay, um, Next question. <laughs> there we go. Translocation orb. I knew it'd be. Hit. Yeah, look with the arrow above. It's like, come here, you numpty. Beautiful. Um, I will stay in the raid group case so that you can zone in when you get here and go grab it yourself. Um. I'm gonna go, uh, knock out some wolves. Mm. There's, um... That schematic is dropped by a raid, uh, dropped by a boss. And then there's another one that is after Holondris, which is what the guild is doing tonight. Um, so nothing that we can get by ourselves, <laughs> unfortunately. 
Okie dokie. So. Oh no, okay, yeah. So you, you need to have, not only do you need the, the research to be done, but you also need to go through the quest chain to unlock it. Then you can start getting the schematics. Even if you've done the research, the schematics still won't appear until you can use them, if that makes sense. <clears throat> schematics thereafter. Yes, it is available on all difficulties, including LFR. I just do not want to do LFR when I've got, like, under two hours left on the stream. <laughs> not on the plan for today. Uh, but I have a feeling uh, they'll probably get Holondris tonight and then when I jump in to raid with them on Wednesday, we'll probably kill it again and I can grab it then. Uh, and if not, I can ask him for the lo like I can ask someone for the lockout so I can grab run in and grab it um, next week. Mm -hmm. That's okay. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. See, it does, but then I realize I don't know what's missing on LFR. Because they don't, like, LFR isn't just does less damage and has less health. They often take away entire mechanics or make it so that they're just really bloody easy to do. Like, instead of putting it on four people, you get it on one or that kind of thing. So it sounds like it would be a nightmare, but then I don't know what changes so I can't really know for sure whether it would be a nightmare or not. I'm sure I'll end up going in there and having a look at some point. Probably just not without Jas. <laughs> oh! For Gil case. Excuse me, go away. Alright. Oh wow. Okay, so one of these is gonna be all squares in the middle. Okay. So there are three ones, three twos, and three threes. So that way I know all of the groups. And then if I look at the threes, that's not a complete set because there's two circles and one square. So that can't be a set of threes. Therefore, I know that every single group, all three of the sets has to be a one, two, three of the middle symbols. Um, given that there are four squares and four circles and only one triangle that tells me that in the middle that tells me that one of the one two three sets is going to be one of each one of them is going to be all circles and one of them is going to be all squares it, they have to be they have to be uh so i'm gonna start with all circles because it's and then also looking at the outsides we've got four squares four circles and one hexagon which means that one's gonna be all circles one's gonna be all squares and one's gonna be one of each again so these are our circles we've got a one and a two but which of the threes is it gonna be both of these are double ring so it has to be double ring otherwise the set wouldn't work we've got a one and a three for the squares because remember i said that one of them has to be a full set of squares on the inside that's a one and a two, which means that the two has to be a three on the outside, which means it has to be that one. Then we've got circle, square, hexagon, double, uh, sorry, single, double, triple, three, two, one, circle, square, triangle. So all of them are all entirely different. So that's your third set. I know that one is the one that gives people difficulty. So when I see it, I like to like think it aloud so that you guys can sort of because that's, I love that. That's so much fun to figure out in from, from my perspective. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a puzzle person. That's what I do. Uh, but hopefully it helps somebody, you know? At least one person would make me, like... It helps at least one person and it would make me happy. Um... <clears throat> uh... I'm just not that sense of nightmare, but I can bid you the question, yeah, for sure. Since you spawn shortly after kill, like 15 minutes. Oh, okay, interesting. So you have to be there for the kill. That makes sense. It doesn't drop, but it's still, you have to be there for a kill. That's okay, hopefully. I, I mean, I'm sure that I will be there for a kill with Carpedium at some point. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 
Uh, I reckon I'm getting enough of what I can today, tomorrow. Shouldn't take me long to get the rest of the wolf out of the chest. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the lattice will not drop. Lattices will not drop unless you have the forge unlocked. So don't try... You can farm for Genesis Motes because they're also used for the, um, the pets. Any lattices that are for pets as well will drop. But any lattices that are mount only will not drop unless you have the mount forge unlocked before anyone goes wasting their time. FYI. We can't make some single crab. Tell you that much. I'm better on LFR of not removing as much as trivializing oh. recently. Ooh. <clears throat> Let's go make him out. Jazz is going to hate me for that. Actually, no, I'm going to stick around and kill Vexus because I haven't ticked him off for my achievement yet. Loving your explanation of the process. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm so, so thankful. Two rings. Yeah, were you watching the screen when, it, when I was talking about it, David? I was I was cursoring, like I was mousing over things when I was talking about them. Smash options and use popcorn locksmith. <laughs> it's a puzzle. You can't just, I mean, you can brute force it as in like spending the energy to unlock it without having to do the puzzle. But um, if you want to try to preserve energy, it can be useful to learn how to do them. Uh, there is also, of course, an add-on if your brain just doesn't work that way. And that's okay. Not everyone's does. Just blew my head with that explanation. Oh, good! Yay, groups! Did it make sense, though? Let me... Hang on. Because I can show... Hang on. Let me... Because we did... I did an explanation here when we actually did it. So, because his... The way that... This bit. The progenitor language has abnormally high information density. Take this cipher, for example. As with other ciphers, you must deactivate all runes on the grid to access the information contained in the cipher. So the idea is to clear everything. <clears throat> Observe the nine displayed runes. Each has four different properties. The type of shape in its core, the number of those shapes in the core, the type of border shape, and the number of border shapes. Runes can only be cleared by selecting three of them to form a syntactically aligned phrase. That bit there is the bit that threw everyone off. Correctly aligned phrases contain three runes that are either all identical or all different in each of their four properties. So what that means is the four properties, they said the shape, the type of shape at the core, which is either the triangle, the circle, or the square, the number of shapes at the core, so you've got either one, two, or three. The type of shape around it, like the, the ring around it, so you've got circles, hexagons, and squares. And then the number 
of shapes around it. So this is one hexagon, then you've got two circles, you've got three circles here. So you've got type, like shape in the middle, number in the middle, shape outside, number outside. Those are the four. So all four of those need to be either the same, either in, as in all of them have one shape in the middle. So like uh, this one up the top with one triangle, one circle and one square. That, so everything has to have either all the same or all different. So either three ones, three twos, three threes, or a one, a two, and a three. Or all triangles, all circles, all squares, or a triangle, a circle, and a square. Same thing with the outside uh, number and, and shape as well. So looking at this one, uh, what do we got? So we got three ones. So you look one, two, three ones, one, two, three twos, and one, two, three threes, right? So there are two options that we could go here because there's three ones, three twos, and three threes. The three sets that we're making could all be ones, all be twos, all be threes, right? Or each one could have one, two, and three in the set. So making three sets with one of each, yeah? So we have a look. If we made a set of ones in the middle, so we've got the one triangle, the one circle, and the one square. Would that work as a set? They've got a triangle, circle, and square, so it's one of each. They've got circle, hexagon, and square, so it's one of each. But it's got one hexagon, one square, and three circles. That's not a proper set, because it's got two ones and a three. It'd have to be one, two, three, or all ones. So that can't be a set. What that means is the ones can't be a set. Also means the twos can't be a set and the threes can't be a set because then you'd be leaving those three by themselves. So all three sets have to have a one, a two, and a three in the middle. That's your process of elimination, step one. So now we know what they're going to look like in the middle. Then we can have a look. So there's a triangle, a circle, and a square. But then with the twos, we've got two circles and a triangle. What that means is, especially because we've got the, uh, the, whoop, the threes also have two circles. So we can't do like a one triangle, a two triangle and a three triangle because there is no three triangle. So it's going to have to be a one of each thing. So one circle, one square, one triangle in the middle at, of whatever number. Uh, so, so we know what the middles are going to look like. The middles are going to be all different in both number and shape. So, we can start with... Let's start with this one. So, we know that the shape is going to have to be different. So the two is going to have to either be circles or triangles, which those are our two options. If we chose the square, we would need a set of three in the middle that also has a square on the outside one square because then it's match 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 rather than all different there isn't one of those options we could go with this one the two different ones in the middle two different numbers that's fine so we've got one square two circles so we'd need three hexagons on the outside because we're making not a, like a, a, a differing set right so we have the three here and it is three in the middle but it's circles and then we've got the, so we'd have square circle circle that doesn't work. We need square, circle, triangle, like to make the set in the middle. So it can't be that one because there is no option for that one. So our last option for the twos is this one. We've got one, one square, two triangles. So we need three circles. So these are our two options. We have triple square and triple hexagon. We have a single square, a double circle. So we need it to be triple. Both of those fulfill that but we need it to be a hexagon because it has to be the third shape. It can't be the square. So go with that one. That's our first set. Correct. Yeah, I know for him. Uh, let's have a look at this one. So we've got a circle by itself, like one single circle. The only twos that we have are both circles. That means that the central shape is going to have to be all circles. All of them are going to have to be circles. So let's go with this one. We're looking for a three. These are our two threes. 
but that that doesn't neither of them work because although this is threes in the middle and it circles it's a triple square we've got two singles here so it can't be that one go with this one so if we've got one two three circles they're all circles so that's a set one hexagon two circles three squares it's another set away our last one we've got triangle circle square in the middle check one two three check circle square hex check one out two out three out check it meets all four requirements and that's our last set i mean obviously if you've got three left it's probably going to be a set unless you've massively screwed something up or unless they do tricksy things and give you more than one options i don't think they have that but they could um but sometimes it can help your sanity to check the last set Although, just clicking it away is probably fine. Ah, uh, there's logic for this. Oh, yeah. How do you how do you think, like, add-on, the programming of the add-on wouldn't be able to figure it out if there wasn't logic to it. The demo card. Yay, Jess! Well done! Congratulations, I got a lupine lattice. Do you hate me? Ah, uh, I didn't know if I could solving this puzzle. Last week, though, 30 minutes for one, delete the first three. Rest was unsolvable, had to reset the puzzle, delete another combination, rest was solvable. Awesome. Yeah, sometimes it can sometimes it can be tricky. The pen unlocked, yes. Yeah, there you go. Present Yas. Goal reminder, go! Is Vexus spawning today? Vexus is spawning today. I just got my first kill. After the bounce. Yay, apathy! Get my sword, yes. Oh, 3D map printer, yes. So what to go for today's goal? Woo! The zero. They are very adorable. Uh let me put in the brute force option. Yes, I also really like that. As much as I love puzzles and I, I really like the way I feel when I manage to solve it and stuff, I understand that not everyone can. Like everyone's brain works just a little bit differently. And some people cannot wrap their head around those kind of logic arguments. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, the reason we have such beautiful things on this planet is because someone came up with it because their brain worked differently. They thought of something that nobody else thought of and made it happen. So, like, yeah, I love that there's the brute force option for people who just can't kind of wrap their head around it. And also that there is the add-on that helps as well. Uh, Thurling, Koala, Kledgy, Zem, Draz, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, onward to the next one. In the second cipher puzzle, lights. The the one where you click it and the ones above and to the side change as well. Yeah, that one. Like, there is there is strategy to it, but I don't tend to use strategy. I just kind of recognize the patterns and click stuff that I think will work and just keep moving through eliminating the patterns that I can see until the whole thing's solved. <laughs> um, sometimes it takes me really quick, sometimes it does not. Um, but that one's, it does have logic to it, but it's, um, that is not the kind of puzzle that my brain does super efficiently. <clears throat> This is for me. I don't know to grab right now. Twin, twin theater, 500. Nice. Nice. Uh, uh, hello, Les. I hope you are enjoying yourself today. So you made sense for sure. Let really just get back to WoW after you still made sense. Good. Yeah, it's definitely unlike anything we've seen in WoW before. It's pretty cool. This is the three master of the first correct sets, I know. <laughs> uh, I have any embers you can do to the stream goal. Just did. Hey, Mage Tower stream. Yep. Uh, when Legion time walking happens next month, uh, we are going to do some time walking, but if the goal is successful, I'll spend an entire stream trying to bash my head against the Mage Tower challenges as well. Um, if you do seven of them across specific specs and stuff like that, across different tunes, um, you can unlock a mount. Oh, sorry to hear that, Liz. 
Oh no! I'm so sorry. That sucks. Yeah, sounds good. Studio apartment. Oh, nice. That's good. Have your own little space. Yeah, fair. Really informative. I, there were a couple of times where I'm like, hang on, did that sentence make sense? But as long as you guys were able to make sense of it, that's kind of what matters. So that's good. Hey, Mount. Um, kids. Oh, Sika, that's okay. Rest well. We'll see you next time. My brute force option makes it so they can always include them. Yeah, people who hate them won't have to worry much. Exactly. They can't complain because they don't have to do it. Like, ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. So what? I've got two hundred and fifty-six left. I don't think. I don't think anything can be made. I can. Get, I've got three hundred that I could do. Fifty. What was that? 300. Sundered Zareth Steed. More Forged Bridal. Uh oh. And Servid Lettuce. Hmm. I feel like this one's going to be a pain. Hmm. <laughs> Someone thought, let's make a movie about sharks and tornadoes. And people gave the money to do it. Correct. Correct. More than once, even. I know, right? It made enough money that they gave them more money to make another one. Hello, Lux. Ooh, nice. Got a new one, yay. And he left on my Facebook page. There you go. Jump on in on that, guys. Gravity for sure. Vicious Bird, well done! Well done. Did some of the protocol mounts immediately jump to the top of the Mount Farm Monday list? Uh, no, no, they didn't. Um, everything is at 0%. We did a poll right at the beginning of stream, and the question was, do I do my standard BFA, DFA mount farming, or do I do ZM? And ZM won, and so I am doing ZM. <laughs> Um, more force bridle comes from the raid. Good. Oh, high value cache. Yeah, from Sepulchre. Okay. Well then. I can still try to farm up the... No. Okay. Where's a... <laughs> where's a... Where's a 350 then? Where's this one from? From Protector of the First Ones. And that's the zone drop, the Hillicid Lettuce. Well, Protector the first one seems to come up relatively. Two people with matching runes to each console found the area to open the barrier. Okay. And where do I farm the Hillicid Lattice? It's for the Scarlet Hillicid. Excuse me. it is. So I'm looking for them on my uh, DFA list. I just realized it's a fucking search box. Good. You're good at this. It's fine. It's fine. Mm. Where are you? Down the bottom there. That's you. Not quite as far down the bottom, but pretty close. Where are you? Same place. All right. Let's go see if. Ooh. Gideon. <clears throat> Welfare. I've been 
a bit all over the place. Honestly. Um, like, the, the six-year anniversary stream was delayed because, um, I got really sick to the point that I couldn't speak, so I ended up on antibiotics for ten days. And then the Brisbane floods happened. And we had no power, no proper power for a week. And the half our street was underwater and <laughs> it was it was a time. It was a time. But things are slowly, steadily returning back to normal, but they're about to be shuffled up again in a week, one week, next Monday. I have surgery number two to get the implant shoved into my jawbone. Uh, hopefully they will do it a little more delicately than shoving, uh, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> so that'll that'll throw things, uh, shake things up a little bit. But um, I'm I'm really looking forward to after that doing a couple of shorter streams, including Chef Squad, and then getting back to normal schedule, and just sticking with normal schedule for a couple months to try to kind of put my life back together a bit because everything has been so everywhere that social media has dropped entirely off the plat. Like I haven't done it in. A month um and everything's just a little bit messy so i'm i'm hoping that with a return to a more regular schedule i'll be able to kind of get my career back on track you know get everything where it should be because i'm i keep feeling like i'm i keep feeling like i'm in over my head like that I, I've overcommitted. I know I haven't because I know I'm more than capable of doing it because I've done it before. I've been doing it constantly for months now. Um, but because of everything that's been going splat, everything's piled up and I can't catch up. I can't catch up. There's so much to do every single day that I cannot catch up. Oh, I was supposed to be going and checking for protector. Um, I forgot about that, but I'm going to get to the path because I think it'll be safer. Um, but, yeah, I've taken a week off work for surgery recovery, two, two work days. Um, last round I only took one day off, but it was the Thursday, so I had the whole weekend until I was back on the Tuesday. But this, because it's a Monday, I'm taking the Tuesday and the Thursday, because I don't think I'll be okay by the Thursday. Um, and I'm taking two streams off, so I'll come back on the Friday, but for, like, a short stream. Um, and then ease back into it. So I'm hoping that I recover faster than I think I will, because it's a less invasive surgery and I'm ho so hopefully I'll be able to use those little bits of extra time to maybe catch up and I also need to sort through my task list and un and decide what can be written off what can just be like I'm not getting that done this month it's not happening I'll start it again next month um so yeah it's kind of it's a it's a strange sort of place to be in because you like old me would have been like absolutely not Everything must be done. Everything must be done. But now I'm kind of to a point in my life where I'm like, I can't. I know my, I know what I can do and I know what I can't do. And so I just need to accept that and get on with it. So a bit shit, but also good because I feel like that's personal growth. <laughs> as ridiculous as that sounds, uh, I feel like that's personal growth. So yeah. Thank you for asking, and I hope that wasn't too much information and that you're not, like, rolling in your eyes and being bored. <laughs> um, yeah, Oryx line is sale, friends. Yep, I found them. What is the jump, stump, jump start on filling the newly added stuff? Yeah, well, I've got all, I've got most of the recipes now. So that's, that's a re I feel like that's a really good start. Um, please help us. So now it's going to be, like, farming up the materials. But the materials don't seem to be too difficult to farm up. Like the lattices, I can just kind of kill a whole bunch of stuff till it drops. And then the other, like the blue items, some of them I just can't get, and that's okay. I'll get them when I get them. And then other parts are like, do you know what I mean? Like, I think I'm in a good place with it. I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? Oh no, maybe he's in the cave. It's absolutely in the cave. Um, there's been a lot. Things are looking up. Yes. Yeah, look, I know the feeling, hey. Right, so... Slowly recharging itself. Okay, so he's not able to be summoned just yet because they're out of power. 
That's right. Maybe I do this well, this uh, quest, world quest, and see if he spawns by the time I'm done. Otherwise, this is absolutely something I can AFK from, which is good. Uh, hey, surgery number two. I know, right? Get it off the like off the schedule, out of the way, done. Eat and nothing but soup for another week or two, and then <laughs> yeah, now it's good. I'm obviously I'm a little nervous, you know. Who wouldn't be going under general anesthesia and all that kind of stuff? But um, honestly, I'm looking forward to the enforced sleep. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Uh, have you make you know, the organizing house move? Maybe you are still working. I passed away on Friday. And, oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. My condolences. I'm starting at work this week. Yeah, it definitely sounds pretty full on. Time, yeah, it was her home dimension last eight years. Very sad. It was her time. Better place now. She's reunited with my papa in heaven. Yeah, look, I as as horrible as it sometimes feels to say, there it does reach a point in some people's lives where it's the right thing, you know. Um, I'm I'm glad that I, I imagine that she had a very long and very full life, and uh, and maybe she'll be. Oh, oh, okay. So those sigils. That's what we gotta do. Okay, gotcha. So, I can take this sigil thing and make it spawn. Is that how this works? Oh, there are more of them. Shit. Uh, <laughs> oops. Um, some growth, good shit, fair. Look, I try. Try. Power it seems to be slowly recharging itself. Right, okay, so. Right, so it they just they have to recharge. The sigils will always be there, but they the actual machines have to recharge as well. Gotcha. Um so maybe I should have the new material social media we can buy. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, it's all uh, it's all a bit interesting. Um, I need to, I've still got a couple of, um, I still have a, get your ass down here, you little thing. Um, there are a couple of social media posts that I still, I need to make before the end of March. Um, so I need to get onto those at the very least. Um, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I miss in the weeks to come. Thank you, Les. Thank you. And you too. You too. Look, you're in a new place. It's it's fresh start. You've got this. You've got this. Just do make sure to take some time for yourself. It's something I have to bloody tell you every time you come by here. Take some time for yourself. Uh, all right. Two farms of blue items mostly in the moats take time. Yeah, yeah. The moats Hi, seem the to be pretty, went. ooh. Ah, Sean. Thank you so much for the resub. One year, 12 months. Enjoy your new sub badge. Amazing. My goodness. My goodness. That is just amazing. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. Um, do you know what I mean? Exactly. It's at least tradable. You can AH if push comes to shove. I would rather farm them up myself, I think, rather than purchasing them. But yeah, I think, I think it'll probably be just fine, yeah. 
think the pep machines are still off. I don't look any different. Whoa. This one needs you to unlock it. I know. It said that in the, um, requires two people. Literally the first thing it says. <laughs> Handy notes is really good for that kind of information. Like, it's a thing. Uh, ah, well done! Not the right thing. Call it a life is just trash as it is now. Boss said to me, everybody dies, but everybody lives. Yeah, which is a nice way to put it. Uh, I say she passed away. Best way anyone could, living out all her days and passing away natural causes old age. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, ooh. Got a helm from that. Uh, so that still hasn't kicked off, but that's okay. I'm gonna go see if I can get the uh, lattice instead. Yes, I'm joining the funeral. Yeah, um... Uh, like, so my, my grandmother passed away a few years back. Uh, the first of my grandparents that I lost. Um, and... Uh, that was, that was really rough. Um, she... I believe it was a stroke? But she was 100% completely, perfectly fine and healthy and everything. And then one morning, just into a coma. And then a few days later, was gone. Um, so that was that was hella rough. Um, and the funeral was really bittersweet because I hadn't seen a lot of my family for a long time because different state and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it was really beautiful to, you know, share stories about her life and, and the effect that she had on us as the grandkids and all that kind of stuff as well. But it just, it was really hard. Um, there is, there is other personal stuff that I'm not going to get into because, um, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> there's stuff that I don't necessarily need to share with the, the internet. But uh, yeah, it, it's, the funeral was easier than I thought it'd be, but it wasn't easy. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I've enough to do much death in my life, but I'm really only close to, yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, there's been a few, not, not family. Um, not family, but, uh, friends and extended loved ones and whatnot. Um, there, have, there have been a few that I've gone through. But they started when I was pretty young. Like... So, yeah, it's all, I don't know, it, it never really, like, it wasn't, there wasn't, like, the, you know, my first experience with death of a loved one at, at 27 or so, do you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was, pr in fact, I'm pretty sure I was in primary school. Um, when the first person I knew passed away. Uh, no! Yes, yeah, early, early primary school, uh, there was a person who was in my younger brother's kindergarten group, class, I don't know what you call it, uh, and she passed away. Um, expected, but obviously still fucking horrendous. Um, and then there was another one a little bit, a couple years later in primary school of one of my friend's older brothers. And then, do you know what I mean? Like it all just kind of, it was very early on in life that it kind of started happening. So I guess it didn't, it still hurt, but it was not like this big adult realization when it happened the first time. Do you know what I mean? Like I'd already had that kind of exposure to it, so. I don't know. It's it's weird, isn't it? I don't know how to explain it. Um, taking myself a whole week. Really nice. Nice to have your downtime. Yeah, you need it. Like you honestly, you need it. Everyone does. What that downtime looks like is different for everybody. Are you bloody kidding me? First kill. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going because I need more of them. I need nine total, apparently. That doesn't sound right, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But those both are up there as well. So I think I need seven, not nine, I think. 
That might mean the 27k is lying as well. These aren't unique, are they? No, alright. What does it sell for? 20k and I got it my first kill. Just gonna hate me. Um, so it's really hard when it's sudden. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are there are some other other things that I, I as I mentioned I'm not really gonna go into, but there are some other compounding factors that made it so much worse. Um, but like, what can you do? There there isn't anything that you can do. So you just do what you can. Done. Done. Um. No way. Yep. It seems like I can't find a way to get the numbers in NPC soft plus above the character portrait. Uh, it is. It is in LVY. It's there. You just have to like go through and I know. It, I know. There's a lot. I know. Read every option. Turn it on. See what changes. Turn it off again if you don't like it. Like literally every single option. Um. It is absolutely there. Um, uh, sometimes you're three more than the funeral itself. Yeah, I am, I'm really lucky in that, uh, I love my family. Um, even my extended family, there, like, there isn't a bad member among them. Um, we're all, we all grew up really close, like, Catholic family. So every Christmas, every Easter, big family gathering, uh, and also every month for birthdays. So I spent a lot of my youth with my cousins and my aunts and uncles and stuff like that. So, um, we are all really close. Uh, we have a group chat on Facebook <laughs> that we share information. I mean, they share a lot more information because, I mean, they all still live in Melbourne. So they all have, like, information about and in, in organizing gatherings and stuff like that. So I'm not involved in a lot of it. But every so often, especially during lockdowns and stuff, they'd be talking about what they were going, what was going on, what the new rules were going to be, blah, blah, blah. And then they'd be like, hey, Fia, what, what are things like in Brisbane? And I'd be like, we don't have to wear masks anymore. Like, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's uh, occasionally I'm involved in that sort of thing, but mostly it's just like, it's nice to be able to see what they're all up to without having to be, like, without being able to go down there. Uh, but I miss them a lot. I'm, I'm looking forward to going down in October for PAX. Um, when my mum's dad died, I was super young, asked if it was going to be on the news. That makes sense! Because big important things are on the news and that was a big important part of your life. That makes perfect sense. It's kind of beautiful. It goes to show how much he meant to you, you know? That, that you felt like it was such an important event that it, it would be on the telly kind of thing. I assume we mean about the service being sad, but good. Today's the anniversary of my mum's passing. It was sudden one month from diagnosis to pass. Jesus, that, yeah, that's a lot to take in. So this is a wonderful healing process. Great to share beautiful stories. That'll, yeah, and just, and get it out, you know? <laughs> There's, um, a lot of, often a lot of tears involved, but, um, tears actually chemically help. It is a thing. <laughs> the act of crying releases happy chemicals in your brain. Um, if, if you're the kind of person who doesn't like other people seeing you cry, that's totally reasonable. And I'm not telling you you're wrong or that you need to change or any of that kind of crap. Absolutely not. But if you are, a, if, if you are the kind of person who doesn't like doing that kind of stuff in public, if you can find yourself a moment to just really feel it and let it out, it, it can help so much. And as a benefit, if you help yourself, you will be in a better position to help the others that you care about. Because caregivers need caring for. And uh, you cannot fill someone else's cup if your cup is empty. Because uh, I, th you know, I think about if, if, someone, if someone near you, your loved one is thirsty and you have a cup of water, and you give them some of your water to help them, you know, because you need water too, but they do as well. So you're giving you, them some of yours because you don't, really, you don't need it right now. But if everyone around you is thirsty and you keep giving everyone a few mouthfuls here and here and here and here, eventually your cup's going to be empty and you won't be able to help any of them get a drink. So you need to do what you, whatever it takes for you personally to refill that cup. 
Maybe it's going and getting a massage. Maybe it's just having a day to yourself where you can have a cry. Or just, you know, tune out and play video games. Or, or whatever it is that you do to help. Take those actions to fill your cup so that you can continue to help others with what they need help with. <laughs> Sniffles. Because <laughs> I cry a whole lot. Yeah, well, it... If you need it, you'll do it. That's, this is the thing when, like, when you're in a really kind of fragile sort of place, and then you see an ad on TV that just hits in a in a sensitive spot, you know, and then you just you start crying. Often it's because your body just needs to, and that's okay. There's nothing nothing to be ashamed about. Your body completing a natural function, squeezing water out of tear ducts. Like you have them there, it's not it's not an unnatural thing that you shouldn't be doing. Like it's it's one hundred percent fine. But I, I understand that there are there are some cultures and, and some families and some people and etc etc who they the where they just don't feel comfortable with that and that's okay, but definitely consider giving it a go in private because it, it actually it doesn't it doesn't fix everything. <laughs> it's not gonna fix anything. Uh, but getting that little hit of, I think it's serotonin, getting that little hit of serotonin can be enough to get your head above water so that you can get to where you need to go. You know? It's like uh, when I started taking antidepressants and it's it doesn't, it didn't make the sad go away. It didn't fix my depression or cure it or any of that crap. It, it didn't do that. What it did was it took the edge off enough that I had the spoons, the energy, the time, the motivation to meal prep so that my body had better food in it, better fuel, so that I got more energy, so I could do more things to take care of myself. Do you know what I mean? It just it just takes that edge off. And the same thing with crying. It, it helps take that edge off so that you can keep yourself going. I think I killed all the snails. <laughs> Mm, do you have corals in your bay at Brisbane? What bay? We don't really have a bay. We don't have something like Port Phillip Bay. Um, we don't. We don't have a big thing like that. We literally have the mouth to the river, and it's not very big. It's it's just it's just like you've got the coast, and then there's like a squiggle. Like it's yeah, it's not a it's not a bay like you might imagine. Um, uh, that's and that's like closest to the city, but I, I'm not sure about the other. There are some, I mean, obviously, there are some other chunks that are taken out of the side of. Is that Chitali again? It is out of the side of the country, but I'm. Uh, I know we have the Great Barrier Reef. There's a ton of coral there. Um, we have some other coral coral reefs and stuff as well, but I don't know if they're um. I don't know where they are or if they're in bays. Ah, uh, Jesus, back in the car, I mean, I ran out of water quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely need breaks and time to yourself and all that kind of stuff. Uh, give me just a second and then we'll do that battle. I just don't want to die. Respond. I know, but how long, eyes? Nan's funeral, everyone was crying at some point later on, was mostly laughter, talking about all the things she got up to. Yep. Oh! It's a glimmer. I'm pretty sure that's two glimmers that I've gotten from the geomentals in this area. Mm. Uh, time for some sleep. Rest well, Rel. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Street speech at the South Bank. Uh, not so much coral, more concrete. <laughs> uh, boss six is fucking bad. This is just in a random adventure, just destroyed all natural life. More, this is a five. Yep. Look, I. Look. Look. Hey, Jass. You could boss five. Yay! Uh, Jas, I got a, uh, I came up here to get a helicid lettuce. I killed one snail and I got one. And I got my lupine lettuce after maybe like five kills. This cargo soup? Yeah. Delicious, I think. I don't know. I've, I don't think I've actually ever eaten snail. I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I, I don't think I have. There don't seem to be any... And they're all, um, yellow quality, right? Root snails get fed a lot of the tops of garlic. 
Ooh. Very tasty. If that's how that works, I don't actually know. All right, that's right. I was supposed to come down here for Chitali, wasn't I? God damn it. I'm really bad at this. Da 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 ba. Right, I think I have run out of snails to kill. Uh, yes, Dunno, Martin, Rel, Joe, Zemendraz. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus sheet. Sorry, I just had to check what that was. Uh, on to the next one. Oh, she's cooked with butter and garlic. Yum. Not so bad as I expected when I had snails. Also, she had frog legs at the same time. Brilliant. Do you seem easily sidetracked today? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me, honestly. i easily sidetracked, like, during the day when I'm trying to get stuff done and things as well. I do need to go to the bathroom though, so I'm going to be RB. Run away, little girl! Run away! just spawned. Orexel. Shit. Mm. 
online tomorrow. Well done. I will not be. Uh, unsurprisingly, I've not had the chance to be able to log in every day and do all the um, dailies and stuff. It's been uh, really low on my priority list. But I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> One day. One day, full-time content creator. stuff, all of it, and get everything done, and be this, like, collector, and help all the people and stuff. <laughs> Actually have time to get stuff done. Be nice. Tomorrow, not a worry, rest well. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Oh. Take care of yourself. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Dude, I will. I'll do my best. I've at least been getting exercise done, so that's uh, last week. Hit my target. Five days exercised. Not seven, but five. Every single weekday. I actually did exercise. Pretty happy with that. get the what's it for this one so where is So that one's just bought at Revered? Oh. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Boring, but fine. Was its originator? What is that? Unalloyed bronze ingot. <laughs> yeah, look. What's it? Ah, well done, Jess. Well done. Oh, so this is another one of those means to end ones. We can't do that until... Okay. That's fine. And that's the other one. Okay. Uh... I don't have the thing for Buzz. I don't think I have Curious... Do I have Curious Crystal Sniffer? No, I mustn't, because I had the echo of the first song and it didn't turn up. Darkened 
Sparta. That's the raid one. Zone drop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one was that? The curious crystal so far. Okay. Yeah. Enhanced avian. Please don't be right. Oh. Okay. So this one drops around here, around the the boss, the raid entry. But the things that drop, the, it, you can also get the Raptora lattice up there as well, which is the two items I need for this mount. So why not? Mm -hmm. Look, wombats, yes. They are indeed wombats. That's the adorned. Curious Crystal Sniffer, Darkened Vombata, and Heartlight. They are absolutely all that. You know what? I might not be able to craft like all the mounts today, <laughs> but um, I'm feeling pretty good about what I've managed to get done. Yeah, the so the item the amount it now says I need twenty six nine hundred, so it's dropped by. Wait, it's only dropped by a hundred, but I used five hundred. These little, the little buggers. Enhanced avian. Avian expressions are you already have. No, it's a total of all the things you need. Because it's all the things, it's only tracking things I haven't collected. <clears throat> oh, something not changed. It did, it dropped by a hundred. But I used 500. Ow. That was my confusion. It should have dropped my more. That's okay. <clears throat> Proto avian lattice. For a pet. Interesting. So it doesn't drop the mount lattice. That's super confusing. Oh well. This mode inflation? Yep, correct. That's exactly it. Has to be, surely. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. At least there's a lot of these spawned up. <laughs> 
means I should be able to farm pretty much non-stop. That's a helicid. And there's my proto avian lattice, so that's nice. Apparently, I need two of those, but it says archetype emotion twice. So I'm assuming I only actually need one. And I have two glimmers of animation. But what I need is the. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> it just flew off. Guessing they come back. Guessing they do a loop and then come back. <clears throat> I'm uploaded Fear's explanation how to solve the puzzle in Discord if I need any help. Aw, thank you, Sam. <clears throat> Maybe if we stick it on the internet somewhere. Get lots of, lots of views. I need to figure out how to use YouTube Shorts. Because I, I have a feeling I'm going to be able to, um, take, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can upload them, like schedule. as they leave. Gotcha. Oh well. Not like there are more of them. so it doesn't evade. That's okay. At least there's no timer. So, 34.38% completion. It's not too bad. Nearly 40%. Oh, come on. Really? for contributions to the Mage Tower Stream Challenge. Progress, but are there any flappers? It does not appear to be. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I got another proto avian lettuce. Got two now. Brilliant. I might actually be able to sell those. Not for much, but something. Get a buffeted lettuce. I need those. <laughs> I need everything. Go. I didn't get one, but that's okay. God's sake. The evade bugging with some of these mobs is a, a little bit silly. It's a flying mob, it should always have a path to get to me, you know? Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, step one undies will make everyone comfortable, even if you are continuously wiping. I know you're talking about a different kind of wipe. I'm trying to be respectable. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Look, I may not be getting moats as quickly as we were before, but I'm still getting them while I'm farming for the other bits, so I do like that that's a thing. I 
it was indeed perfect timing, you are correct. I can't believe I got surgery in a week. That came up out of nowhere. Goodness gracious. to being done with all the dentistry stuff. I don't want it to come along too quickly because I still need to save a bit of money but um I am looking forward to being done with it. What? Why am I in combat with you? What the hell? Oh, it's the hopper. He's running all the way around the entire platform. Yeah, good. I keep seeing the proto flesh and being like, ah, but it's not the right thing. sake why are you evading I'm literally right here these mobs are so buggy I'm guessing that you have tried to, like, communicate with them via party chat and stuff, right? Um, Minecraft are well done, Red! Congratulations! Yeah, it might, it might be getting to the point where it's like, Mate, we cannot defeat this unless you do what we're asking you to do. If you continue to not do it, we're going to have to find another healer. Uh, and then if they don't, quick kick. Um, oh no, you can't queue for Mythic like that, so it would be the party leader would have to drop them. Um, yeah, that's, that's a bit silly. I don't know if the debuff they're supposed to spell. Apparently struggled with it all week. There you go. If anyone this is the thing about communication, right? <laughs> Everyone just everyone's afraid of speaking up in dungeons because they're afraid of getting kicked. But if you have a conversation and say, hey, I feel like I'm missing something. What am I not doing right? And someone says, you gotta dispel the thing. Oh shit! Done. Fixed. Issue solved. Kill the bot. Do you know what I mean? Like, god damn. Communication solves so many problems. So many. Made lots more to go. Yep, agreed. I've made... I've made three as well. So, no, two. My bad. I made, um... I made... What's it, what's it called? Uh, the first one. Death, whatever. And then I made the heart bond lupine as well. I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. If I can get the right drops, then I'll be fine. Get 
the lattices and, and the blue items to drop and then go farm up the moats. Be able to be able to craft one a week. Maybe even two. It's about as much time as I have to play, unfortunately. Um Okay, but farming lettuce, I want a 2k for it. Yeah, the bits that I'm after are like the, the blue bits. Um, which are binding, they're like bound to Blizzard account. So I can't exactly go buy them. Lattices I'll deal with later. The the blue items are, is what I want to focus on first, because those are going to be the hardest to get. Um, uh, conversations and pugs usually lead to getting kicked and possibly reported for some people though. Well, the reported thing is really easy. Don't be a dick. Um, but if you're polite about it and they lash out at you, that's a them problem. Like, <laughs> you know, there's there's nothing there's nothing you can do if people are gonna be assholes like that. <clears throat> Well done. Sooner or later, I'm going to forget what I've made. That's okay. <laughs> DFA will tell us. Oh no, we did a lose. We did a lose. Oh well, um, that's going to be our last battle for the evening as well. Uh, we are real close to end of stream time, so uh, I'll leave it there. I'm going to see if I can't grab a couple more of these enhanced avians, though. See if I can get this winds of whatever. It is like a super low drop rate, though. A lot of people talking about getting close to the 1,000 kill mark uh, before they got one to drop. So, no, that's fine. At least I'm getting moats while I'm working on it. By the time I get it to drop, I'll probably have enough moats to craft the thing. I still will have to go and get another lattice, but that's all right. I think I have the correct kind of patience for this, this kind of thing. is the ancient hopper doing over there? Someone's kiting it around the place, I think, trying to mess with it. They do really hurt. What am I in combat with?
couple more up around behind here. I think that'll be the last ones I'll try. That's alright though. Got a whole bunch of lattices, but you know, a lot of modes. I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty good about progress today. It might be easier if I go through and make myself a spreadsheet of the mounts and uh, keep track of which ones, like what I need for which ones and stuff. Might make things a little easier. <clears throat> Indeed, Kay. Indeed. It just, it like, if I do that and I put like X's in columns of what they need and stuff and I can do like a count if at the bottom to like count up all the, oh there you go, a third proto-avian lattice. Um, too bad it's only for pet. Uh, actually, archetype of motion. Can I actually make that? Um... 300 Genesis Motes, which I have. Protoavian Lattice, which I have. I don't have the Glimmer of Motion. That's alright. <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like um, it might just help me kind of wrap my head around. And then I can include like notes on where things drop and stuff. Means less research while I'm streaming. But I'd need time to do that, so we'll see how we go. Uh, I hope you guys have had a chill night with me today. Um, I have. I've really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun today. Thank you so much for being here. Um, sometimes you just need to chill and do nice things that aren't super involved. And, you know, just, just nice. Just nice. Um. <clears throat> I reckon maybe we go here because this is gonna like speed running. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yay, cozy strims. We love cozy strims. Oh god, look at the <laughs> all the. Mm, it's because I'm showing completed uh, what's it? Dear. Um, actually, I might have to ask Jack that if I have to have show completed enabled for uh, his add-on to work. I'll check with him. Okay. Go. Uh, Twitch raid. We're gonna go say hello to Lacey. I miss Lacey. She's lovely. I get along with her really, really well. So uh, we're gonna go drop and say hi. She's playing some Mario Kart 64 and she's speed running it. Which sounds like an absolute blast and a half, if I'm going to be honest. So I hope you'll join me in saying hello. Grab your copy paste. Um, if you can replace the Fiamma hype emote with whatever you've got if you if you don't have that because you're not a sub or you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, and it's totally okay. I won't be offended. Uh, and drop it into Lacey's chat when we get there. Uh, boop. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, Wednesday, we're doing 9.2 story, and then I'll probably raid. Uh, Friday, we're doing classic Ashran. Yep, that's right, PvP. You better be there. And uh, Transmog Hunt on Sunday. And Sunday will be the last stream until next Friday because I'm having surgery on the Monday. Uh, so you will, uh, I would advise jumping in the Discord uh, because that's probably where most of the updates on like condition and like if you give a shit about my condition. <laughs> if you don't, it doesn't matter. But if you do give a shit, if you do care, um, you can definitely jump in the Discord and Jas will probably be making some updates in there. I will probably be on drugs and or asleep. Uh, but... We will come back on the Friday with the 9.2 story that I will have missed from the Wednesday because I'll be on drugs and or asleep. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you on Wednesday. All love. Mwah. Bye, guys.